Hello everybody, I hope you are having a comfy, a cozy, and a synchronous Saturday afternoon. First things first, it's the lovely darling Catherine Wife is with us again for our Stardew shenanigans. Hello! Hello! And, uh, so, to anyone who is watching... I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing, I can't yeah, watch the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to be released, anyway. You're gonna play a story video time. game on the internet? Story time, go tell yeah. your story. So we were <laughs> yeah, on a... On Thursday, when I when I last did the streaming thing here, uh, we're playing Earthbound, and uh, we're very early in the game because we just started and whatnot. And at the uh, end of the uh, stream on on Thursday, uh, we were fighting some ants. There are some ant enemies in the, an early area of the game. And, you know, we were winning. We done beat up some ants, and it was great. Then I uh, wrapped up stream, and I went upstairs, and uh, Catherine ran up to me and says, We have ants! <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, uh, yes, we, we, uh, we, I, I, I took care of the ants, I thought, but <laughs> nope, turns out we also had some real-life ants. But... Oh, is that you genuinely, you hadn't seen the real house ants when I came upstairs? You were talking about game ants? No, I, I saw a couple okay. of them. <laughs> I, I saw a couple. I didn't think it was a, a problematic amount of ants, but apparently while I was streaming and beating up virtual ants, it became a problematic amount of ants. Oh no, my gate deteriorated since I walked in. I'm trapped here. And I'm trapped here now. Uh, no. But the, the ants are dealt with. It's fine. It's nothing. It's just, it's spring. So the ants are, ants are a thing. We, we handled the situation deftly. But and by handle the situation definitely we mean we threw quite a lot of vinegar at the problem. Yeah, just <laughs> sprayed vinegar all over the kitchen. Um, and we're just running an empty dishwasher because that's apparently where they're congregating at the moment. They're very excited about our dishwasher. No, but yeah, we'll air that's fine. Just very very uh strange to have been conquering some video game ants and then going upstairs and being told we have to conquer some IRL ants now. <laughs> the game is coming alive. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah, yeah. I have bad weird news for you. What's your bad weird news? It seems like it doesn't matter which controller I'm using. We switch controllers and I still am sometimes just like walking into things. Is it possible that like the computer is wrong? <laughs> okay, try turning off the, the keyboard. Is that the yellow button? No, it's on the ah, yes. thin edge. Okay, see if that does see anything. See if that helps. We, I, will, we were, I will report back, everyone. <laughs> we were having some controller difficulties last week, and we uh, we got a new controller, but apparently the new controller is doing the same thing. So, Which is uh, also strange, because the new controller is the one I play with upstairs, and this doesn't happen up there. So the scientific method is starting to tell me... Yeah, there's uh, something else going something on. Something else is happening. We'll get to the bottom of it. Because there's nothing Dave can't do if it's, not, if it's not tech support. I'm wondering now if it's a matter of, like, is one of your cords dragging across the trackpad on that keyboard... No. Oh. I feel reasonably confident in that. Anyway, we'll figure anyway, it out. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We turned off the keyboard and if... So far, in a couple of seconds since that happened has happened, nothing bad has happened, so... Wahoo! We'll keep it up. Guess what I'm doing? Are you fishing? I'm fishing. Congratulations. Although my, uh, my goal for today... Uh, I want to do some more uh, spelunking in the mines. That's I, exciting. I think we got as far as level... 65 last uh, Ooh, last you, time do you know about the how now it tells you what level of the mines you're on on your little home screen Ooh. believe it or not we are actually on level 69 oh we just can't elevate her to it yep well now i feel bad because i want to i i feel compelled to preserve that we're <laughs> no. on the nice floor no we have to keep trying okay fine so yeah, I'll be doing some spelunking and seeing how many floors I can conquer. I'm on fence repair. Hooray! And yes, Kai, it is very nice to be on floor 69. Bonk. All right. 
What's on your to-do list on uh, on this Stardew Saturday? Well, my first to-do list that I didn't realize is fence repair. <laughs> um, let's see. I hope and hope beyond measure that our blueberries come in in the next five. They are um, they must come in in the next five days. They're not taking that long. Um, so we're gonna hopefully finish the summer community the summer crops in the community center. Um, probably if we get through summer today, five days. Oh, shoot. I'm out. I'm one piece of iron fence short. I'll just make a piece of stone. I don't even have stone. <laughs> oh, I was going to do this off stream with you in case it gets awkward marriage conversations. But when we were rewatching our, one of our streams from earlier, like you got to help me out and put <laughs> stuff in the right, in the right chest. <laughs> I think probably 60% of my panic last week <laughs> of my <laughs> complete loss of my grip on reality <laughs> was because nothing is where it belongs. <laughs> I, I, I official request <laughs> for at least an attempt <laughs> at an organization and i'm open to a conversation about changing the organizational paradigm into something that makes more sense for you but we gotta have something man um i will make one chest for every kind of item oh. it, you, can't, you can't get any more organized than that although i so here's an interesting 1.6 question sort of is that i was i was playing my my game the other day and i was like man i really wish Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, therapist friend. Um, that's how you get your spouse to do what you want, is ask them in front of the whole internet to do <laughs> yeah. it. An audience full of literal therapists yeah. as well. Um, oh, I was playing my game, and I've gotten to the part which I always get to. Oh, yep, nope, I'm walking on my own. I'm... Uh, okay, try plugging... Uh, mm. Hmm. I mean, it comes back every couple of seconds, but it's also it. Okay, so there's there's an issue with the Bluetooth connection because I saw it. It dropped your. Oh. It dropped the connection with your controller. Okay. I don't know how to. Uh, you said it eventually defaulted to wired after so many minutes of not finding a Bluetooth connection, right? The other one? Uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't remember saying that. I don't want to lead you astray. I mean, it does add kind of a little bit of randomness and excitement to the run. <laughs> that's uh, and that's that's exactly what you need more of in this playthrough. You need more <laughs> more difficulty to navigate. <laughs> hey, mostly I'm just not gonna mine because I don't want to die. Um, nothing really terrible happens if I uh kind of walk in the wrong direction out here. Hey, cats, bagels, welcome to the stream. Welcome. I can't move. <laughs> okay. Um, do you need spice berries? It, uh, it's it is actually possible that this is just a battery issue with this controller now. Um. Okay. Uh, turn that controller off. Welcome to the best stream on the internet. Okay. And then plug the other one. Plug the black one in via the wire. This thing, right? Yes. We're doing it live! We're... And we're spending time doing yeah, it. Right? Yeah, right? <laughs> That's 11, 10 p.m., baby! Let's go ahead and... There we go. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, no, we need control yeah. so we can, <laughs> we can test, test it. if it's working. Yep. Which it is for the time being. Okay. We'll see how, how that keeps up. <laughs> we're gonna... We're... The most exciting stream on the internet is actually what's happening. <laughs> I'm just pleased it's not a controller, because those things just shouldn't break. No, it's, it seems it's to be... It's a real, genuine Xbox controller. Something different is the problem. Yep. Because we have, we have scientific methoded that it is both... It can't be both controllers. Yep. Anyway... Good night. Good night. So I was playing my 1.6 and I was starting to get, yes, good sprinklers. Yes. <laughs> oh, totally worth it. Um, Ooh, we can just, just turn off the stream now. I'm happy I've leveled yeah. up to good sprinklers. Game Bye, everybody. Jorb complorted. <laughs> this is your first time here is what we do. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to tell this story, gosh darn it. <laughs> I was getting overwhelmed in my Stardew playthrough, which usually happens. And I was talking to our friend Kai, what's up Kai in the chat, about ways to feel less overwhelmed in the game and organizational structures and stuff. And something that occurred to me was like, man, I would really feel less overwhelmed if I had a lot more room in each chest. Rain. And then all of a sudden I realized that I had achieved a recipe for big chest. And now mm. I have like a twice as large chest, but I don't actually remember like getting the recipe. I don't remember getting uh, <laughs> the stuff for it. It just all of a sudden it was like I had manifested as we said, manifested what I needed. So, but yes, big chests are nice and I am excited to have one for this stream as this save file as well. I like big chests and I cannot lie. Yep. All right. Uh, is there, uh, I want to head into the mines, but I need some health restoratives. What do we got? Uh, well, do we got, do we got nothing? Two spice berries. Can maple moss? Syrup. Nope. Can't maple syrup's moss. not terrible. Uh, grapes look pretty legit. Yeah, go ahead and take some grapes. I think actually, this is weird because I was listening to our stream from earlier, from last weekend. Ooh, a sweet pea gives me zero energy. Yeah, sweet peas are only good for gifting to other people. <laughs> the, 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 the stats don't really imply it's a good gift, but okay. Yeah, I didn't know that for a long time. All right. Yeah, quality melons, that's right. Yes, I have top quality melons, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, good, we do have refined quartz. I'm not going to go sprinkler crazy. <laughs> At least not on a rainy day. Yes, I earned an achievement. Yay! I'm investing in our long-term sprinkler futures. <laughs> I'm investing in our long-term floor 69 of the mines futures. Ooh! Oh my gosh, you started playing? That's so exciting. Welcome to the Stardew um, community slash uh, problem club. <laughs> <laughs> We're so happy. You almost... Oh man, the rabbit's foot. The rabbit's foot is annoying. How did you get... In theory, you shouldn't have been able to get a cabbage from Pierre. A red cabbage recipe or seeds until the second summer. So that's most impressive. I wonder, maybe they sell it in the uh, traveling cart, I think? You were, you must have been lucky. You got it for the merchant. Yep, that sounds about right. Because, yeah, sometimes that's the... Between the rabbit's foot and the red cabbage seed are usually the things that it takes the longest to, to track down. Is there mines music now? There's always been mines music. I swear I didn't hear any, I mean, literally ever, let alone <laughs> last week. Well, I'm pretty sure. All right. Interesting. Hopefully people are getting your music feed and not mine, because I'm just having Clint open stuff. I can... No, it doesn't matter. That arranged can be. The, the pathetic little clunky noise when you get something terrible from Clint always makes me laugh. <laughs> like, you get that cute little sparkly ding-dong when you do something good, and then when it's terrible, it's like, boom, boom, boom. Bonk. Donk. Boy, I hope some of this stuff can go to the museum. Okay, looks like I just got to do a whole lot of pickaxing on this floor. Bring oh, home. wow. Very nice. Okay, the first rock I just chose to destroy had the ladder. Yay! Donk. It's gonna be a good day. V. V. <laughs> you know, if you checked the luck before you left the house, you could know that. What's that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm I don't have a TV in my house, remember? <laughs> well, I, I have a flamingo and some torches. You woke up in my house, so... I've got some ideas to sleep upon now Ooh, as well. I wonder what you leveled up. Uh, ghost busting. Ah, I see. Come on, Gunther. Yes, take... Takes, ooh, dang! Look at all this stuff! Green and... Purple. Ooh, a reward. And purple. Blue, yes. You got purple. I did. Happy purple. Thank you. I think you mentioned earlier off stream too that a, a good idea for us is to start upgrading some things. Yes. We uh I'm still rocking vanilla hoes and pickaxes yep. and things. 
Nope, it is definitely Ooh. time to go to Gunther and get some stuff upgraded. I found a backpack. What? Or, I mean, it, it's in the mines I found something that looks like a backpack and it was full of coal. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, it, like that big thing on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always think it looks a little bit more like a padlock, which makes me laugh about the <laughs> padlock bit from Taskmaster. <laughs> oh. A soft, curvy padlock. Because it was a banana. <laughs> ah, ah, gotcha. I had to the... Your encyclopedic knowledge of Taskmaster <laughs> is far more advanced than my severely casual knowledge of Taskmaster. One of my best friends from high school, uh, a person named Jackie, is is such an interesting relationship that I have in that sometimes we go like six or eight weeks without talking or sometimes six or eight months without talking. And then every once in a while, one of us will message the other on Facebook with just like an exceedingly random bit of conversation and then we just jump back into a conversation like we've been talking every day and a couple of weeks ago they just jumped into my chat with like must talk about stardew and i was like yeah all right i'm here <laughs> for this <laughs> like i post on facebook occasionally about just like hey guys star uh taskmaster is awesome i also say stardew's awesome sometimes um i got the master slingshot Ooh. but the it was slingshot of time it made me laugh that, that Jackie so accurately uh, pegged that I would be 100% into <laughs> talking about Taskmaster. I'm like, yep. Am I allowed to put other stuff in the shrine? It depends. Okay, well, you can come and find it later and move it if you think you must. Is it gaudy and or tacky? Yes. Yeah, all right. But it is unfortunately very asymmetrical now, so I don't know. Perfect. It's extremely gaudy and tacky, thank you for asking. <laughs> um, is there such a thing as, like, bombable walls in the mines? I do not believe so, no. Okay, because some of these... this I'm, I've got a wall in front of me here that... Any other game, I would think, okay, I can destroy this wall, but... If I that's mean, not a thing in these, then... It is 1.6, I guess I don't know for, for actual fact, but <laughs> in my experience, no. Well, I'm just going to walk around and pick up some quartz then. Okay. Refine that stuff. We need it for sprinklers. Um, I It's already four in the afternoon. I'm not going to try to get another five floors done. Okay. I'll conserve my energy preserves, reserves, pre-reserves. <laughs> and be on my... Oh, that's right. We fixed the carts, didn't we? Yeah, you can take the mine carts. Were you not? Sorry. Bus stop. Can't stop bus stop. <laughs> uh, what box do you want mystery boxes in? Um, Oops. black is good. You found it. If you found it in the mine, it goes in the black box. Is a good way to remember that for me. Okay. Um. I've never really done anything with the uh, slingshot stuff. Oh, it requires ammo. That's probably why. What uh, what ammo does it? Um, I think at some point you get a recipe for s basic slingshot ammo that you just that it's just rocks. I think. Okay. And then a, a recipe for rocks. <laughs> a recipe for ammo that requires rocks. <laughs> And then eventually you get a recipe for, I think, explosive ammo. Uh, it's likely that that's a combat-based level up, I'm guessing. That just seems to make sense logically. Logic? What place does logic have? Hey, Kai, if you're listening, will you do us a favor? I don't know if Laura knows that we're streaming. <laughs> I don't know if she has Twitch notifications on. Just as a... Just as a curiosity. I the uh, did the thunderclap happen on your stream just now? Yes, it did. Is uh, happened on mine, and I 100% thought that was a uh, thing to respond to as I'm fishing. Oh, did you just <laughs> <laughs> pop open your? Yep. Hey, where do you think we should plant f a fruit orchard? Um, I guess the answer is to wait and because okay, I'm gonna put this back. I like the idea of having fruit orchards, but this is a peach tree and we're not gonna, that only plays in the summer, so it's gonna be a year. So I'm just gonna wait until we have the greenhouse and then I'll plant, the, plant it there. 
Oops, I picked up the crab pot. I meant to harvest the crab pot. Alright. Maybe there was nothing in it yet. Here, I'm going to put some mayonnaise for you to take to the mines with you. Where box would you like it in? Um, the mayonnaise box. Mm. This is the furniture box. <laughs> no, don't drink the mayonnaise. You can... Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff in the uh, the Dave bucket over here. Oh, okay. Well, you move and I'll put the mayonnaise in there and then <laughs> file the rest of it. Ooh, you left a... You put a thing. I did. I'm just going to bump into it and make a single note. In theory, you might be able to... Um, and I'm also going to sell some broken glasses and a Joja Cola. Um, and two fiber. Oh, the mayonnaise is the only thing I meant to leave in there. <laughs> um, If you go to the museum, you might get your own little note thingy. Because I think we each uh. get the rewards for the same stuff. What is this in your house? Did you put a... Is this like a tuba? Or what, is, what am I looking at here? Oh, it's a vase. <laughs> okay. A decorative vase. <laughs> you got a black tuba in your house. It's only 8.40. You went to bed. Uh, you got, you know, yeah, okay, fine. Oh, no, <laughs> I'll you, go fishing. No, wait. <laughs> but, but she said. I just, all when I saw you went to bed, I was worried I had somehow like missed missed what time it was. Time for fishing. Okay, I'm gonna do some. Ugh. Some coal. Good. Ooh, I'm gonna do some quartz. Oh no, that's already refined. I really do know how to play this game, I swear. <laughs> tasty, tasty coal. Ooh. All right. I mean, bar people barbecue with it. It's not unreasonable. I mean, I guess they don't eat the coal. They don't but... actually eat, the, yeah, unless I'm misunderstanding <laughs> how the things work. Maybe they do, but they probably don't. I'm going to donate this cell, this bone flute, because I already donated one of them. Yes, we have quite a lot of copper bars. We can do, hopefully, a lot of upgrading. Do we have to increment properly or can we just go from like vanilla to iron you have to increment i'm very sorry did you look in the shrine yet yeah i have not Sh is that something i should be excited about or afraid about well i mean it's really hard to tell with you <laughs> oh my god kai you got to level 97 oh and then it hit 2 a.m did you pass out or did you save yourself at 2 a.m but dang, 97. That's amazing. When I started the uh, the save file just now, I started the day just in front of the mines, and I was confused. But then Did I you remembered. Sleep in the tent? Yep. <laughs> I forgot that uh, at the end of the last stream, I tented it up right outside because I had no time to make it back home. I would uh, like to point out that I did not realize you did not wake up in bed with me this morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. I did see a cool thing. This is what I get for a lot of my um, algorithms. Sorry you passed out in the mind, Kai. Um, a lot of my algorithms are showing me Stardew-related content is that you can use the, use the tent to sleep overnight outside the desert, the cavern, the skull cavern, and just start. Thank you for notifying Lori. Um, you can just start the the skull cavern at 6 a.m. by just waking up outside of it. The other, I mean, you can achieve a very similar goal by having a, a warp totem to the desert. Um, but even then you have to walk, you know, it takes you probably 20 minutes to, you see, Dave, you thought I was making up legendary fish. Cat's Bagels, which one did you get? What season's um, legendary fish did you get? That's the most exciting thing when you when you catch a legendary fish. I didn't think you were making it up. <laughs> I just don't think it's real is all. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> there's, I'm, not, there's a... <laughs> I'm not making it up. I'm delusional. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. I, I don't remember. the. I know there's one for each season, so... or. And there might also be like a lava version, so that's very cool. Hello, tuba. <laughs> it's a vase. <laughs> Do you not know what a tuba looks like? <laughs> I got oh, the crimson root. fish. Yes, very Ooh. good. I don't even remember where to get. There's a couple like 
I know one or two of the places in the game where it's like this is where you stand to get a legendary fish, but off the top of my head, I don't know which place goes with which season. Okay, everybody, vibes for blueberries, okay? Let's hear it for blueberries. Blueberries, <laughs> yes! We're, we're proud of you, blueberries. You guys, I'm not going to have failed the, my, like, only job on this farm. Uh, George wants a hot pepper. Oh, that we can do. And, uh, a lot of people are asking for plants. <laughs> You're uh, gonna have to be more specific than that. <laughs> Jody wants a cauliflower, and, uh, I, I have to craft a furnace, apparently. Furnace. I have to reach farming level one. Oh, no. Which is... <laughs> Still, some ways Are away. Are you still not at farming level <laughs> even one? I, I, I don't think I've hoed a single plot of land. <laughs> Demetrius needs a melon as well. Yeah. I don't even know what the melon looks like. I'm pretty bad at doing these random quests, I'm not gonna lie. I, I am gonna say that I am much better at doing big billboard quests now that there's a prize ticket at the end for me. Um, <laughs> but even then... Also, sometimes the... The cutscene, the event that happens after you do it is sometimes so depressing that I don't want to complete it. <laughs> like every time Robin asks me for the hardwood, I'm like, but you and Demetrius are going to fight now. Oh. Maple. Yeah, quality crops bundle is a long way away. I pet the Schmaple. Did you pet the Schmaple? I did not. Oh. I'm pretty bad at petting the Schmaple. That's one of your farm duties. Yeah. I am happy to oblige. Do you pet the chickens every day? No. See. <laughs> do, do, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, good. I mean, except for times I forget. Yeah. Ooh, Kai makes a good point. You don't know your luck if you if you sleep with the tent outside the skull cavern. That's an excellent idea. Or er, point. I will try, generally, to only go to the skull cavern on good luck days, but... Ooh, I got some skeletons now. You're moving up in the world. Uh, quite the opposite, in fact. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I got two ladders right next to each other. Choices, choices. What? Eeny, meeny, this one. Maybe you can keep a TV in your pocket and place it in the tent. <laughs> that might actually work. It's a very weird game, Stardew. Okie doke. I am off to Clint's to upgrade some stuff. TV in your pocket? Hey, I think this is this should work, right? I can upgrade my tools while you're doing your thing and then you can just, then we can trade, right? Like I can put my upgraded, no, that's not right. Pretty I, sure. Put my, God, I can't believe I let people watch me do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we also have my screen. <laughs> It was just, I went to the wrong place three times in a row. <laughs> uh, it's a good day of stream. Somebody here did something uh, suboptimal. I got you five bombs. Hey. Am I going to use them or have them used on me? I'm not going to bomb you. Oh. I'm not going to bring Griffin energy into this <laughs> stream. BG. <laughs> Big Griffin energy. Oh, right. All right, Clint. <laughs> Catherine, nobody knows if you F up. I don't know. That was pretty... What you just watched me do was pretty bad. I'm fairly certain that nobody in my audience uh, comes to this stream in pursuit of expert play. <laughs> That's not the vibes here. That is... Uh, That's absolutely. very much what we do here is we play perfectly. Yeah. All the time, constantly, we never making a single mistake. ever mess anything up. Not once. Why would you even say that? Flawless victory. Yep. I'm just here singing along to the music like an excellent grade A streamer. <laughs> I am. I, I have. I have gone back to not having mines music. There's definitely some mines music. All right, I would like to dig a hole. Listen, therapist, get out of here. Nobody <laughs> wants, nobody, nobody asks for that incisive insight into my psyche. 
I mean that with joking and love, <laughs> love of course. You're not going to charge us, are you? Ugh. Just walk up to a stranger and therapize them and then build them. <laughs> Listen, if Kai was in charge, all therapy would be free for everybody forever. <laughs> well, okay, a copay. <laughs> are you on my audio right now? Yes. Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here pickaxing rocks looking for a ladder. Just stardew things. <laughs> I have a lot of issues. I don't think abandonment is actually one of them. <laughs> I have all the other issues. I'm one of them. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> I'm a liability. Quiet. <laughs> Quiet your face. <laughs> How about... Did you ever think about doing that, huh? You just love me because I'm funny and I know how to cook and I make you feel better and <laughs> I take care of you and etc. See? <laughs> just little stuff like that. <laughs> Oop, I'm running low on energy. <laughs> Kai's <laughs> coming in with the real talk. <laughs> it's not it's not abandonment, it's just neglect. Oh. <sighs> what did you say before we started relaxed and playful? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we've moved away from from some of that, some of those vibes. Hey, Eagle! Ah, uh, we are indeed having a good day. Of the <laughs> hope you are as well. It's Stardew shenanigans. It's the boppiest of bops. Yes, <laughs> I, Kai, I said that before. I before that yours came up on the chat, but yes, can't can't help the bop. Oh boy, I uh, just need to find one ladder here. <laughs> one ladder is all I need. You can do it. You know we have some stairs in the in the mining box. You can mm. take with you for uh, Eagle. I don't know if you've hung out with us on a Stardew stream before. What do you love? What's your favorite thing about Stardew? What makes you love Stardew so much? Aside I from the fishing, obviously, which I know is everybody's favorite. <sighs> Dave is just all on his own over there. <laughs> oh no, it's, the world's going blue. I'm it's still Dave looking. and Concerned Ape and nobody else. <laughs> there it is, all right. The comfy vibes, absolutely. 475. Good job, honey. You lived. Indeed. Health was definitely not a concern. Energy? Absolutely. Energy but was health, a problem, huh? <laughs> health was fine. Oh, somebody else actually likes fishing. <laughs> For the record, I do not hate the fishing game. I have no desire to get rid of the fishing game. I just don't <laughs> treat it like a fishing sim <laughs> like other people do. It's a, uh, a fishing and moss gathering sim. Mm, I'm glad you've, you've gotten on board with moss gathering. First, <laughs> maple. When that maple. first came up, I feel like you were like, the what now? <laughs> well, that's because it was new. It was new. And congratulations for getting something right as being new. <laughs> oh, my fishing bar is so little. My fishing bar is so tiny. Ooh, a bone sword. Is that... Surprise, I got carp. 22, it's about the same. Ooh, more speed. But it's also more speed, but more weight. Mm. Just, what, is, what does weight do if not... Does weight make it more energy expensive to use? I don't know. That's a good logical guess. I would have thought it just made it slower, but... Uh, I may not catch this fish. I hope that the chat is coming through with sword knowledge for you, because I can't look, because I am very... Yes! Thank you, Eagle, for redeeming. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've started adding some uh, channel point rewards, finally. Excellent. Uh, is see. that what I have 200,000 of on my Twitch account? Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna spam that good. <laughs> Kai thinks that weight is probably a knockback thing, which makes oh. a lot of sense, too. Okay, so maybe the uh, bone sword is a is a good thing to have found. I have definitely used the bone sword when it's all when it's the best sword I have, and it has worked for me. <laughs> well, the the question is, is it the best sword that I have? <laughs> I guess that's a fair a fair point. I decided to do some fishing, which means 
Sorry, go on. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. Which means I must have some faith in my controller. So far, so good. Knock on wood. I was, I've been thinking about um, implementing a, a text-to-speech thing, but I've been... I'm, I'm, hung, I'm hung up on which, which text-to-speech... T- <laughs> I, I, I need... Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Can we get one for you? Yeah. Um, I've been hung up on picking a, a text-to-speech service. I was... Um, I saw on YouTube the other day, there's a... There's a version of Steamed Hams where all the dialogue is spoken by the text-to-speech off of an Amiga 500, I think, which is a 40-year-old computer at this point. Um, and the text-to-speech, well, super advanced at the time, of course, is not uh, not particularly robust anymore, <laughs> but robust in such a way that I would love to have one of those for, the, <laughs> for this stream. So I'm going to see if there's a... There's apparently a, uh, in the extremely brief, uh, research I did, there is an Amiga 500 emulator, so maybe that also emulates its text-to-speech functionality with some fidelity. Uh, heavy, uh, quotes, fidelity, but, uh... He did the actual air quotes, everybody. He took his hands off the keyboard to do air quotes. Yeah, I'm, I'm committed to my... <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd provide some real-life perspective. <laughs> But yeah, the the text to speech is is a consideration as well. One of the issues is, of course, it's a it's certainly an avenue for uh, for abuse. <laughs> I was calling him out for tr- doing doing the, going the whole nine yards <laughs> yeah. or something. Um, so a redeem like did something come up on the screen like a little an- emote or something? Um, at the moment, it's just in chat. Okay. You but that's see. the kind of thing you can do with the channel react is have like a little little yep. dancing pupper on the screen or something. Yep. This is explain Twitch to your wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was also looking for one for uh, 420, but uh, <laughs> I didn't find one that I liked. Um, can I? Um, no, I'm going to leave. I'm going to let the mayonnaise uh, ferment a little bit. <laughs> Gross. Some sparkling mayo. A to uh, but between mayo and I just caught a chub. It's, it's yeah, the, yeah. the meme stream. Yeah, Chubs that's... and mayo. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Delicious. Yep. That's how we roll here at the good Dave. And also sometimes wife. <laughs> You're still fishing and I'm going to bed. What is I'm this? I'm on my way home. The shenanigans. What is this role reversal I'm nonsense? I sort of hoping I was going to level up on fishing just because I am level, let's see, one on fishing. <laughs> well, I have no, uh, I have no inputs to perform at the moment, so I'm going to take this opportunity to hydrate, and I welcome you to do so as well if you have any water handy. Good for you. Put some stuff in the trash maker. Dave's honestly one of the more wholesome people in real life, too. <laughs> I'm a little biased, but... <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Boom. Well, thanks. You bet. I'm glad I am... Uh... <laughs> uh I guess... Uh, redeemable in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> you have many positive qualities. Thanks. Flashback to if anybody's on the... <laughs> if anybody hasn't uh, gone to watch it, I was logged into or visited Dave's YouTube page from a. Were, were those pickles? Yeah, it's pickled. It's pickled something. Pickled summer squash. Oh, never mind. The game doesn't actually. The weirdly, you can pickle everything in the game except actual pickles. <laughs> like the game doesn't have cucumbers to speak of. Pickled chub. Um, everybody should go watch the Ugh compilation from when Dave <laughs> played uh, Prince of Persia. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it came up on my recommended the other day. Oh, well, thank you very much, Eagle. I'm glad to Aww. glad to get some positive feedback. I'm glad. It's good to know I'm I'm doing all right. Yeah, making people's days just a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit comfier, a little bit cozier. We talk about uh, ant infestations here on this stream as a source of relaxation. And also sometimes updates on cat butts. Yes, the 
Cat butts, ahoy. We took Maple to the vet this morning, and news is all good. Yep. He got he doesn't have to go back and get another allergy shot for another three weeks, marking the longest he's gone without seeing the vet since, I want to say, November. I was going to say ever, but yeah, <laughs> since he was a stray. There was, a, there was a, a bit before he fell in December where he hadn't seen the vet for a little while. And then, and then everything started again. But for now, we are, we are in a good place. Mm-hmm. Listen, George, I got your request literally yesterday. Stop being such a twerp. Oh, I, was, I was looking for someone in chat named George. He's like, who are you? <laughs> There's a new person in chat named George, and I hate them. Yeah, you're getting spicy with chat over there. <laughs> I've been a Twitch streamer for three weeks. <laughs> I'm coming for everybody now. It's already taken its toll on you. Yep. Can't blame you, to be honest. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. Clint's not even going to be here. <laughs> yes, George. They, I think I got a cutscene where George finally admitted that he was being mean to people for no good reason. <laughs> oh, Clint's here. Hey, Clint. Maybe my one of my very favorite 1.6 quality of life updates is that he will open geodes for you now, even when he is working on your tool upgrades. It is the best thing. I think you'll find that per Ray La Montaigne, you are the best Aww. thing. Black. Sorry, I'll stop that. <laughs> That's gross. Nobody on the internet wants that. <laughs> oh, he just couldn't help himself. <laughs> bit bit of context. I, Dave opened the door, so I suppose I will finish the story. Is that Ray La Montaigne's "You Are the Best Thing" was our first dance at our wedding. Tee hee. Tee hee. And this is the part where I don't make fun of Dave's largely uh, lack of ability to dance. <laughs> it was our first sway and hug at our wedding. <laughs> yeah, as, as slightly <laughs> rhythmic hug and sway <laughs> is a, probably a more accurate way to, to describe that. I uh, I may have a, a degree in music, but it certainly ain't in dance. No, that is not my thing. Although I'm convinced that he just thinks it's funny to do it bad. If he tried, <laughs> he could do it better. <laughs> Uh, agreed. <laughs> you agree? <laughs> yes, but I, unfortunately for <laughs> for uh, unfortunately for all who ever witnessed me dance ever, I'm just not particularly interested in improving. Oh, <sighs> thanks, friend. It's like how uh, you know you're not particularly interested in learning how to work on cars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Which is more likely to just randomly be useful in a social situation? Working on cars or <laughs> dancing with with some level of intent? I guess neither of us will ever know. Yeah. All right, what am I doing? I should sell some fish. Hey, thank you for the gift subscription, Kai. Ooh. Very generous and appreciated. I hope whoever received that enjoys the ridiculous new emotes you have access to. <laughs> What are some of the ridiculous emotes? Um, there's the, the uh, I do actually have a, um, I'm in the mine, so I'm not going to use it yet, but there is a new <laughs> John Goodman arrive oh, emote yes. <laughs> that I made yesterday. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, yesterday was my uh, last day at, uh, at a particular job. And uh, the very last thing I did <laughs> as an employee <laughs> at that place was make that stupid John Goodman arrive emote. <laughs> totally <laughs> worth it. <Yep. laughs> I got I got paid by the state of Wisconsin to make that emote, and that's the last thing I did at that job. <laughs> <sighs> oh, there he is. There he is in the chat right now. Always arriving, never leaving. <laughs> Don't know how he does it. <laughs> John Goodman is just magic like that. Hmm. All right. There's... <laughs> <laughs> it's a John Goodman dance party. <laughs> it's not even... The, the bop isn't even playing. Oh, I'm not even on your... Let me give you... Well, I have no music over here. Oh, neither do I. I'm just sitting here. I'm, <laughs> I was going to say bopping rocks, but... We already That's used the word bop in a positive context. The bop's always playing. Yeah. Just in your heart. I've been trying to devise a way to uh, 
switch over to like Winamp or something playing Stardew music on the break, but <laughs> it's just it's just easier for me to. Well, it's complicated. <laughs> yeah. Not, the the reward is not worth the effort. <laughs> Ooh, is that? I can't actually tell what the other emote is. It looks kind of like a pineapple from here. Um, it's not in mine. I don't think that's all I know. <laughs> okay. You're not wrong that the bop is playing in my head right now. All I can not to just Oops. play along with it. I have crossed the line into exhaustion here. Uh oh. I shall em endure the penalty tomorrow. Ooh, apples. That might be useful. If I'm on 78, I gotta get two more floors here. <gasps> Bug Knight! Oh, it's a Dan Jones Karak. That's ah. cute. Hey. hey, there's the ladder. Open for a an early ladder here. Got a cave carrot. Cave carrots are like ladders. Cave carrots are good. Yes, I will need apples. I will need lots more apples, but this will at least... It's only $400, too. A <laughs> $400 apple? Yeah. That's... Uh, <laughs> how much could they cost? Hey, we bought ten thousand dollar backpacks. None of things is right. Here. <laughs> Nothing is right in this game. Ooh, excellent. Red mushrooms is actually something we need. It didn't tell me that this was this game takes place in Zimbabwe or whatever. <laughs> oh gosh, it's Bug Knight with Froyo. That's the cutest thing. I could tell it was Bug Knight from this far. That's adorable. Oh no, we're getting blue. Uh oh. I'm killing slimes over here in the secret woods. Racking up my combat experience. Let's go. I gotta swat some bats. Swat bats. Ooh, that bat swat me. Oh no. I got swat by a bat. <laughs> Congrats. Hey. Nope. Oh, nope. Ah, shoot. That was the first time my controller went bonkers. Oh, it since, did, though. Since we switched out, yeah. Kind of lost control and just went left and up. Okay. Hey, floor 80. Woo! Loving it. Kai, are you fishing? I got some firewalker boots. Ooh. I received a firewalker boots. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, game. Um, I assume these are better. Uh, three defense and three immunity versus only three defense. Hooray. Yeah, I think just every time you get a new set of shoes from a from a trunk, it just goes up one. Yeah. Kai's fishing, eagles fishing. Everybody's well, eagles not fishing, but eagle likes fishing. Oh, <laughs> yep, just walking in. Okay, I'm of back. course, eagle likes fishing. Eagle is an eel. Really. Literally an eagle, yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I thought you said eel. Oh. Which is like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> For some reason, that's much more believable. Eagle, silver wing, phoenix, eel. Yeah. Let's just keep adding animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't Quite the business phoenix. card. <laughs> Ukai, you're almost at everything level 10. Fish for all your might. Fish for all your worth. I'm so excited for you to see what the next step is after uh, getting all your levels to 10. Huh, I don't have the exhaustion debuff icon on my thing anymore. Okay, I wonder if... Hmm, I'm, <laughs> I'm clearly <laughs> confused on how that works. Oh well, me confused? <laughs> yeah. Me, non sequitur. <sighs> hey, that's a bad side. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in hour one yep. here. I'm doing great. <laughs> do do do. All right. No yawns allowed. Okay, I got some time here. I'm gonna take a look inside the uh, the Flamingo Shrine and see what uh, see what I deposited in there for you. You, you deposited a shmaple in there for me. And? A shmaple. And also a chicken. And? Plinth. And also a, a giant uh, John Goodman statue. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> eh, sure. Let's see. Time. Yes, Kai did it. Go open that door. 
Stardew 1.6 spoilers for not our stream, but somebody else's stream. It's weird. <laughs> I'm, I enjoy that John Goodman emote anyway. I hope, I hope other people do. Kai's definitely enjoying it. <laughs> uh, I am going to leave. Where do you want me to put these combat boots that you can ostensibly wear? Uh, In the mine thing, please. It's getting a bit full. Okay. Then if I do that, yeah, that's going to be... The, the, go ahead and put it in the dresser drawer in the house then. Oh, uh, that's right. Where I forgot. clothes go. I forgot that has its utility. Yep. Rings, hats, all sorts of stuff can go in there. Bucket. Oh, it's... Darn. <laughs> I saw a bucket hat and thought, oh boy, a bucket. But no, it's just... It's just a it, bucket-shaped hat. Yep. How do we get the uh, the trash, the garbage hat? I think you have to go checking garbage cans. Like, there's like a 0.01% chance in a garbage can that the garbage hat will fly out. Mm. I think Kai will happily let me know if I'm wrong on that. Or probably Eagle, who has Stardew experience as well. My understanding, though, is that it's the kind of thing you just sometimes get from a trash can. But you also have to be careful you lose friendship points with people, I think, if they see you digging through the garbage. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Yeah. I don't, do I, I don't know if I have a single friendship point yet. <laughs> you kind of get them by accident when you um, give people, when you finish quests for people. Oh. I was going to say, in my, in my first playthrough, the only friendship points I could think of ever getting are just the ones required to get the shorts out of the out of the place i'm not sure that's pro i probably have done the shorts quest once or twice apparently 1.6 has like a s shortcut to d oh nope i can't hit okay because my controller died right, um... can i is it gonna come back this is the longest it's gone. I'm gonna hit OK on the key. Oh nope, I turned the keyboard off. Uh, okay, so let's <laughs> we're doing so good, you guys. This is, uh, this is, we're we're troubleshooting Believe on the floor. Believe it or not, the technical aspects were actually not uh, supposed to be the problem here. It uh, once this loads up, I'll give us a oh more rain. All right, uh, hit uh, hit the Windows key for me. And turn Bluetooth off. Do -do -do. And then go back to your game. Do -do -do. And then plug in the uh, unplug the controller. And is it just blinking now? Or Nothing's it... happening now. Okay. And then plug it back in. I got a rumble and a light. And unpause the game so I can check if it works. <laughs> no. Oop. There we go. Here we go. All right. We'll see if the. <laughs> Well, we're forcing for, a, uh, a thanks wire for connection. Thanks sticking with us, everybody. <laughs> Doing great out here. That's how we. Uh, that's how we roll. We gotta. We gotta. When you gotta fix stuff, you gotta fix stuff. Do it live. That's what old Jack Warner used to call me. <laughs> Points. If anybody gets that reference, uh, tell me in the comments or chatter comments if you got that reference, and then we could be friends. I didn't. Do you know you can also sleep in the same bed? We were, we did sleep in the same bed, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I I don't have a bed in our yeah, Dave, flamingo Dave's shrine. out of beds. Yeah. The, the, the house that I was born and raised in, anyway, <laughs> is uh, bereft of beds. So I think the only one we can actually use on our whole property is uh, the one in Catherine's little... The, the Catherine shrine. <laughs> Aww. Because uh, there's this one here, but I don't think we can sleep in this one. Oh, we can. Okay. Oh, in the other, the little shack. In the unused one, yeah. All right. Well, if uh, we ever get in a fight and we need to sleep in separate beds. <laughs> well, there's a box full of furniture in the middle of the yard. <laughs> we could get a bed out of that. <laughs> nope. Okay. It's it, it, Once it is in the box, it cannot be taken out of the box. So, yeah, when Dave set up this farm, he didn't realize... Yeah, he he thought two houses meant like two total, not like two extra. So we have this house that we we were not allowed to open the present. It's for whoever our third person <laughs> yeah. who doesn't exist is. So yeah, we have this house that just lives here. And apparently Dave said, yeah, we can go to... S I like how we can sleep in their bed, but we can't open their mail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Like, <laughs> sort of a weird... That's a weird that's, place that's to call it. Federal law for you. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, some... 
gold blackberries. No, they're not that good. Never mind. I'm. Ooh, sunflower. You probably don't want me to eat the sunflower, do you? Um, hang on. How many sunflowers are in there? Just the one. How about uh, mayo? Did we have mayo? Yeah, there's lots of mayo for you. Where did that go? It's in the. Uh. The Dave book. There we go. All look right. at look at uh, you did a good thing. <laughs> yes, friend, you need. Uh, do you want me to explain it to you word for word? Because it's it's sort of purposefully vague here at the beginning. Nope, I'm gonna get to the mines for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you still did the thing anyway. Uh, mines. There we go. I win. I won the the cart race. Yay! I got a copper pickaxe. Do you want to come back and? If you come back to the farm and switch out pickaxes with me. Well, we'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Because I'm already in the mines. Woo! Oop, I got a, uh, a, a spooky looking fella here. A bad guy? Yeah. Spooky. I assume he's a bad guy anyway, because he, uh, he did damage to me. Other than the... It's my understanding that getting hurt is bad. Other than the dwarf, I don't think there's anybody in the Mayans who's not just sort of instantaneously a bad guy. <laughs> oh, no, Kai, it says that this TV that I have in our box says this furniture can't be placed outdoors. Aww. So unless it'll fit in your... Uh, maybe oh, okay. Kai offered to help us farm last weekend. <laughs> maybe, yeah, we just every weekend we have a different, <laughs> a different third farmer <laughs> come and do farm <laughs> chores for us. Silently. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, I, for a second, I was like, "Could we set it up to to Skype in another person?" But Dave can't even get my controller to work, so <laughs> probably not on on voice chat. A non-speaking role, yeah. An N, you're 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 an N, you're a PC, but not an N, non-talking role, non-speaking role. It's right there in front of me. Oh. <sighs> Maple has been waking us up at kind of, um, yeah, nobody uses Skype nowadays. <laughs> it's funny, I'm actually listening to, like, old, old Mabim Bam, um, and they are still, I think, Skyping each other. <laughs> there was that John Oliver joke that we heard recently about how did Skype mess COVID up so yeah, bad. <laughs> how, did, how did Skype manage to not win <laughs> in during COVID? Yes, we've been known to play uh, some Jackbox and stuff over over Discord. That was mostly just my brain not being able to come up with the right words. Mostly the difficulty is that the way I have my computer set up is that my game audio... I'm So I have a multi-PC set up. I have my game PC and then I have my stream PC that's capturing all the footage. The The capture PC is giving me the game audio indirectly. So if I were to bring in someone on Skype, I would be doubling my game audio. Ah. And that would be worse. Unpleasant. Yeah, so I've got a... I can get... Uh, there's some handy software called a virtual audio cable that can probably help me out in that regard, but I just haven't set that up yet. Yeah, honestly, Skype... <laughs> just really dropped the ball there somehow <laughs> yep. like if somebody had told the people at skype like a fortune teller you know hey there's going to be a pandemic or everyone is going to need to use virtual video conferencing they would have been like oh heck yeah our I time mean, has come and then somehow just nothing happened for all we know that did literally happen to them and that's why skype existed in the first place is <laughs> just someone visited a fortune teller and said in 20 years there will be a pandemic and your software will be required to survive heck yeah i'm gonna start a company called skype i thought i needed a fiddle oh i already donated the fiddlehead fern man i'm bad at this game and i have uh some oak resin that i didn't bring with me Drink the mayo. Drink the mayo. Enjoy. Nom nom nom. I'm just dropping thousands of dollars over here. <laughs> it's fine because we kind of stopped spending money, didn't we? Well, we spend it. On, we're gonna eventually keep using it on um 
tool upgrades. And honestly, we really should have bought a barn by now, but I kind of got distracted by the fact that I forgot to buy seeds for summer. <laughs> now that I have good sprinklers, I'm going to be much better when fall starts. <laughs> I'm going to be good at fall. Summer was my, uh, just my off season. I'm going to really make it work for fall. Which actually, maybe that's what I'll do right now is kind of prep some farmland. There's all, oh no, it's going red. No. Gonna get some lava bats all up in my hair. This is kind of in the right in the way. All right. Some fire keys. Hey, there we go. One of them died and spontaneously dug a hole to the next floor. <laughs> <'Cause that's laughs> you know how how things work. Just Stardew things. Stardew logic cannot be. I'm just going to sit here and collect some combat experience. Don't mind if I do. Good job. Let's see. Whoa! What's up? Oh, <laughs> hit escape on your keyboard. What? I, I, think I, I'm, I think I'm haunted. I don't know how you did that. But <laughs> I didn't. I swear I didn't. It's just happening. Once or twice, some random things have happened. We're just like, stuff is doing. <laughs> hey, hey, Kai, shut up. <laughs> Listen, you. Ugh. Actually, I don't know if you're joking because I like to hoe things so much, or if you're joking because I don't have a uh, any sort of crop organizational schema. I know you're making fun of me. I'm just not 100% <laughs> sure in what way you're making fun of me. I can tell when I'm being made fun of. All of the above. <laughs> you said affectionately. I heard you. <laughs> I heard the affection. Did you uh, put a an upgraded axe somewhere? Oh, it's not an axe, it's a pickaxe. Or an upgraded anything. <laughs> um, you can have... I put a pickaxe in this box. Please put your terrible one in this box in... in return. Hooray! Hooray! Upgrade! Listen, affection is implied. <laughs> I will upgrade this other pickaxe then. Yay! Thanks. You betcha. Um, I got Ooh, a ruby. leather boots. What? I got a ruby and an emerald and some void essences. Uh, you're, uh, the mining box is a bit full here. Where's the part of the game where I can dress myself? Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> That's a, it is a crucial part of the, the game to get a handle Ooh, on. The tundra boots are actually still better. So I'm going to put these in the, put these in the dresser. Oh, well, thanks. I can organize something. Um, I'm gonna put... I'm not sure where to... Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. In the mining box is a couple Joja Colas. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Okay. Ooh, and some floor torches. Also, there's chocolate cake in the Dave box by the mailbox, and that'll be good for you in the mines. Ooh, bombs. I want bombs. Yes, that too. Alright. Uh, let me put some floor torches up on the... <laughs> let me... Let me box the schmaple in with some floor torches here. No! <laughs> our little baby! Also, I put a skeleton statue just outside for funsies. And if you want to put that in the shrine, too, it could just be the weird the weird furniture shrine. <laughs> I, for some reason, I many times just walked past the skeleton statue and went, Yep, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> we all, honey, have we always had this skeleton in the front yard? <laughs> What do you mean? I don't see a skeleton in the Ooh. front yard. Some joke here about becoming Stardew Farm Organizer as a private business. Like, hire me to come organize your farm. <laughs> that would make Kai so crazy. I'm, I'm sure there are people on Fiverr that are advertising <laughs> such services. <laughs> Just walking home in the rain. I'm going fishing. Congratulations. It's raining. Oh yeah, restock your restock your your fridge, except it's Stardew. Will you do terraria chests as well? I don't know what that means. Like Terraria the game. 
I've always wanted to get into Terraria, but there's just, there's... Way to low-key correct my pronunciation. It, it's, it's, we pronounce it however you want, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eagle, you missed last weekend, we had the uh, GIF versus GIF argument uh, on yeah. accident. <laughs> and to, to anyone that concerns, uh, the, this channel's official stance on it's, uh, on GIF versus GIF is, it's not a real word, pronounce it however, I don't care. Um... <laughs> It's GIF, obviously. <laughs> no, it's GIF, yes. This is the best fight I've ever seen. This is the, the internet's favorite favorite fight. Um, I had a point and then... What was I, what was I saying? Oh, sorry, Terraria? Terraria? Ah, yeah, that's right. Terraria is... Terraria looks very much like it'd be my jam, but it's... <laughs> the, I, I don't need a lot of... Uh... Uh sort of direction and guidance in my video game to have a good time with it, but Terraria apparently has just so little that I struggle <laughs> to, get, to get into it. I just, it dumps me in the world and I just, I don't know what to do. So I never really got a handle on it, unfortunately. I just need like a, like a Wikipedia article that says, you know, here's an objective that you can do. Okay, great. Let me d d deep, di uh, deep dive into that. But... Oh, this isn't gonna work. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put this bear down. <laughs> oh no! What happened? You're you're gonna put a bear down. Is this this chest in the middle of our of our <laughs> farmable land is bugging me? <laughs> like I need this land for things. Just gonna go over here now. But yeah, Terraria is one of those games that has so, so, so many features, and you can do so many things, and it explains none of it to you. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I apparently need just a little bit of guidance <laughs> in video games. Seven. Even if it's the most vague Ooh. objective, just an objective is just all, just, <laughs> please. <laughs> 700 hours, wowzers. Wahoo. I remember, I think earlier in Stardew, there is even less training and info and every upgrade every update it got a little bit more tutorialized all right and with that we are going to take our first break of Ooh. the stream we're going to stand up do some stretches get some water if you're able to do any of these things i recommend that you do because your body loves them all really very much if it's your first time here this is what we do we just have a nice comfy cozy time relaxing with some good games. If that sounds like your kind of your kind of bop, I uh, recommend a like, a follow, subscribe, etc. It's fast and free. It'll keep you connected for our future comfy shenanigans. Uh, enjoy the kitten photos while we're away. When we come back, we'll keep on keeping on. Be right back. Thank you. 
Hello everybody, we are back. Thank you for waiting. Gosh and heck. It's new music, is it a... Okay, no, it's just the... I'm hearing new music, but it's still summer. It's I can't the... hear anything. Yeah, it's, you gotta... It's, you gotta leave the screen and come back. 
uh, tonight at 10 o'clock, a rare and beautiful event. Oh, right, the mail. Yep, the moonlight jellies, we passing by, etc. Where's Pelican Town? What is that? We're in Pelican Town. Oh, yeah. Uh, gathering at the beach. All right, so what is this? 10 o'clock. Is that a... Do I get the fish? Uh, no. Oh, then screw it. It's pretty. <laughs> it's nice and pretty. But I don't get to catch any jellyfish. I'm sorry. <gasps> Shmeeple. Shmeeple. It always kind of freaks me out on the 28th when I can just start, like, destroying my crops because it feels weird to destroy crops, but it is the 28th. There is nothing <laughs> left to be done for, the, for them. <laughs> Their moment has passed. Although, I can plant a sunflower seed. Man, all I could think of was a stardew seed, which is a different <laughs> thing. There is a nothing thing. Murder. Well, I'm gonna go to the mines. Crop murder, crop murder feels weird okay have fun at the mines i'm just gonna stay here and murder our farm to death hooray uh so what is the there's this rock <clears throat> thing in the mines it's not strong enough what, what level pickaxe do i need you can try it with the new pickaxe if you I leave them didn't. then they will wilt next season and you don't have to hoe those spots well now you tell me no it's just i got very into the idea of of getting everything set up um but yes, your point is well taken and correct. All right, we are in pursuit of level 90. Can you we make can it? You can do it. It kind of bums me out that I can't watch you do it. Like, oh, <laughs> good job, hon. <laughs> sure you're doing a great job. Have fun. I am I am very much used to just fishing every day and assuming that whatever you're doing is the more interesting thing to watch. <laughs> but maybe now that your, I'm... Yeah, your mining might actually be more interesting than me just hoeing the farm to pieces. You mean people are going to watch what I'm doing on the internet? Possibly, yeah. I'm not used to that. What makes a sprinkler? Iron, gold, and refined quartz. Oops. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Remember that? I, this fancy man in a mask made a spooky noise. I have. I, uh. All right. Let's see. I think I gotta. I gotta do some. Some pickaxe in here. I gotta clean up. Clean up on aisle eighty-five here. <laughs> I was just gonna say like clean up the neighborhood, but yours was funnier. <laughs> you win this round, husband. Because <laughs> this is definitely a competition between the two of us. Yeah. I, I, I don't like to say that I am, uh, I guess in a word, better at some things than other people, but I th think I have to admit that I am better at being funny than... Yeah, I don't know. Am I? <laughs> am I, I funny? Say, you're very funny, but are you straight up gonna t tell tell me that you're funnier than me? <laughs> I mean, you are, but it's still a weird thing to say. You're smarter than me, if that helps. Oh, I appreciate that. I also don't think that's true. <laughs> I, I'm not sure these things are are measurable to a certain degree. I'm I'm a better driver. Okay, you know what? You are a better driver. You are a better cook. <laughs> Absolutely no argument there. I am a terrible cook. I am a close to and close to useless cook. I will give you that one. I found a terrible floor. <laughs> it's poisonous. Congrats. And I'm being beat up badly oh, by some red gel. Oh my gosh, so much so much death and destruction. Don't die. Yeah, dying would be bad, wouldn't it? It would be. This, uh, this dying thing. It's, uh... Not all it's cracked up to be? Not, uh, yeah. It's, uh, kind of lame. Am I right? Dave's grilled cheese is evidence of him being a better cook <laughs> than me. He just cares a lot more. <laughs> There's an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine where Charles tries to teach the captain how to cook, and the captain says something like, well, if I turn the heat up, it'll cook faster. And Charles, like, is like, that's not the point. The point is, it for, is, it, is for it to be better. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's what I've been missing this whole time. I, I had a very Captain Holt sort of attitude towards cooking. It's just like, well, I want it, I want to eat now. <laughs> 
<clears throat> just put now. a pizza in the oven at 2,500 degrees for 30 seconds yeah. and you're set. Boom. Oop, I'm gonna death. Uh-oh. Oop, I deathed. Sorry, honey. I forgot to pay attention to my, uh, my death. Dave was knocked unconscious, it says. And I like how as your spouse and farm partner, I'm like, eh, he'll be fine. Yeah. The doctor will take care of him. Bootstraps. Dave. <laughs> Dave, wake up. All right, I forgot about the festival. I found you unconscious in the mines. I wonder what, uh, I may, uh, I wonder what I lost. Ow, I see. Oh, I lost 2,300 money. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, honestly, of all the stuff that you can lose in the mines, money is the least, generally the least problematic. Like, I would be madder if you had lost, you know, all of your iron or something. Or yeah, all your bombs. It, it said I didn't lose any items. That's pretty cool. So I'm alright with that. I'm, uh, I'm leaking blood at an alarming rate. <laughs> yeah. I like how Harvey just sends you on your way. <laughs> you pick up anything off the ground and you will fall down again. Good luck. <laughs> Get home safe. <laughs> yep. Well, I guess I'm going to. <laughs> guess I'm going home for yeah. the day. You could go to the spa. Well, yeah, that's true. But I mean, <clears> it's four o'clock. I forget what time the, the festival doesn't start until ten. And we also don't have to go to the festival if you don't want to. I'm gonna <laughs> lose this fish. I lost this fish. Well, on the basis that I I nearly died, I'm feeling a bit antisocial. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go to the festival. <laughs> I think item deliver item retrieval service, you can only pick one of the things you lost. And when I found that out, I was mad about it. Oh yeah, Eagle is right. You can nap. You can just take a nap while I'm out and about. Right. Which is a function only available in multiplayer. Mm. Just go lie down for a while. Um, I'm giving you all these mystery boxes. Is there... I've Is been it... taking stuff to get... The, they're just geodes. Oh, okay. Then you can has. I don't think. I mean, you can learn to open geodes if you'd like. How am I ever going to get better at fishing if I can't catch any fish? Ooh, you gave me three chocolate cakes. Yep. Hooray! Uh -huh. I've got, I've got just an inventory full of chocolate cake and mayo. It's like, a, <laughs> oh it's no, like portillos. <laughs> if you blend them together, you can have a cake shake. Mm. I've never actually had a Portillo's cake shake, but I'm assuming that that's all it is. I wouldn't. Maybe it was apocryphal, but I remember hearing back in the day that mayonnaise was an ingredient of Portillo's chocolate icing. Oh no! Is it chunky? I was sort of hoping it was nice and blended, but yeah, I would not enjoy a milkshake with like chewable chunks. <laughs> I mean, you you have uh, cookies and your cookie dough ice cream. That's true. So, I mean, if we're really going to get deep into my stuff and stuff problem. <laughs> Catherine lore. Yeah. Um, Do we need any the the weird pork lady is here with the wagon of selling stuff? <laughs> Do we? Do we need? I'm sorry. She's she's the pork lady. <laughs> she's she's got the big purple pig to tow what her stuff. What is she selling? Around. Uh, yam seeds, quality fertilizer, peach sapling, maple seed, fish stew, maple syrup, puffer fish, corn, moral maki roll, modern bench, rare seed, Stardew Valley almanac, and wedding ring. Oh. Recipe. How much is the recipe? Uh, 500. Yeah, do that. We could get married. Around. Anything else we, uh... Um, there was something else in there. The maki roll is something that we'll have to make ourselves eventually and it would certainly be easier if we just bought it it feels a little like cheating but whatever it's only 600 money yeah <clears throat> anything else nope that was all i could think of okay not even the peach sapling we actually already have one of those believe it or not <laughs> oops she went away because it's nighttime <laughs> the pig is still here but can I pet the pig? I can't even pet the pig. What kind of game is this where you can't pet the pig? Pet the pig? It's a traveling pig. <laughs> it matters. It doesn't, it doesn't mean he's intangible. <laughs> he's still a concrete pig. He's a service pig. Oh, yeah. Okay. I apologize. He's doing like, a job. Yeah. A holy blade. That sounds intense. 
And yes, ice cream isn't a liquid, so the stuff and stuff doesn't apply. In case anybody was on the edge of their seat waiting for that <laughs> Catherine lore that I never delivered on. <laughs> Definitely pretty sure I heard a crash from upstairs a few minutes ago. It's just maple jumping down from some okay some surface. That's not... You hear that type of crash often enough? Yeah. Okay. All the time. <laughs> Gee, do you think he was maybe on the counter? He would never do that to us. Eh, maybe the... Uh, <clears throat> maybe the table or... Yeah. Even, even the tree. I like that I'm out here... I'm out here making coal, and we have 58 coal. It's just in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem, as a matter of fact. Uh, where do you want me to put the uh, magical, mystical Maki roll? Um, I... I don't even... Um, it's a kitchen thing. You know what? Just Just put it in this brown bin, but I can just take it right to the community center so I don't lose track of it. The uh, <clears throat> the FromSoft weapon you're thinking of, Kai, is the uh, Moonlight Blade. Moonlight Ooh. Sword. I can't believe we're blowing off this festival. I'm going to bed. Ugh. I almost died today, remember? Oh yeah, how That's, you feeling? That was stressful. How you feeling? Guess I'll go to bed. Are you feeling better post-death? Good night, tuba. <laughs> It's a vase. <laughs> it's really not that tuba -y. It's a contra bassoon. Ugh. Yay, level four combat. And I got a warrior ring. Ooh. You're going to be so much more leveled up than everything except farming than I am. <laughs> well, I'm going to be farming and foraging, girl, and you're going to be fishing, mining, and combat guy. <laughs> That's, I'm just, that, that is very cishet white man of me isn't well, it well yeah it's it's a little bit traditional gender roles <laughs> on both on both parts <laughs> weirdly all right let's fall it up Shmaple. oh i have a new uh i gotta i gotta be uh, concerned about fishing again here. yes it's a new season go get us all of our fall fish i my heart tells me that a lot of the fall fish are rainy days only but definitely we even oh you do still have the flished I still have the flished, yes. The flish flist. That is definitely still a word that has meaning for sure. Uh, let's see. That's uh, that's the sound of uh, paper right there, because yep. I'm an old man who Actual prints stuff. Actual paper flished. Yeah. Saving the planet one sheet of paper at a time. <laughs> we don't print a lot in this house, <laughs> in our defense. Um, let's see, what are, is there anything that's fall only? You may have just taken care of a lot of the stuff that I am panicked about getting in the fall is stuff that I just messed up and didn't get in the spring. I, I would be, uh... The, uh, a, a Bloodborne first playthrough would definitely be, uh... A thing that people would watch on my channel, that's for sure. <laughs> if you if you wanted to lend me a, a PS4, it would uh, it would get used for some Bloodborne shenanigans. You melted his PS. You melted his PlayStation. The, yep, my this uh, PS3. Sounds like a, how did they melt your PS3? Um, <clears throat> it was just a. It was a uh, first gen PS3. It was a first gen fatty that could play PS1 and 2 games as well. And uh, just Skyrim was a uh, particularly hard to run Skyrim game. Skyrim was just too hard for the PS3. Yep. Oh no. And then it just overheated and. I expected to be like Kai accidentally left it in their car or something. Nope. <laughs> the just, game actually ruined it. And just played it to death. Oops. <laughs> yep. Twice. <laughs> oh no. That's fine. That's yeah. That's. <laughs> It wasn't, uh, it's not because you misused it <laughs> you or anything. It picks it and it melts it again. <laughs> you, uh, <clears throat> you used the PS3 as intended. Oops. It just was not, uh, not rope. It was not up to the task, apparently. It was a very, a very common widespread problem that many people. I missed it. Was that like, was Skyrim not supposed to be played on PS3? No, it was. It was just uh, too, too demanding. Yikes. <laughs> and it just made, uh, 
made consoles overheat. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 had the same problem. Oops. Which, yes, Grand Theft Auto 5 is to this day still one of the highest selling games on Steam, and it came out originally for the PS3. Yikes. <laughs> That's, I don't know how they've been milking so much money out of that game for so long. But yeah, Skyrim and GTA 5 were the big uh, PS3 melters. <laughs> and it done melted my original PS3. I have never heard that story before. <laughs> you guys are still keeping stuff. <laughs> you guys still have stories to tell. I have been looking at... Um, that makes <clears> you sound <throat> like an insane, jealous person. That's... <laughs> A, a weird version of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have been looking at the prices of used PlayStation 4s, and if I uh, if I get real snipery on eBay, I might be able to nab like a used PS4 Pro for around like hundred fifty dollars and just own one, but. Obviously, now that's a bad idea, but <laughs> uh, borrowing a, a PlayStation 4 would also be a way to get uh, some Bloodborne content on my channel. I don't... I'm not keeping up anymore. I'm assuming that Kai is uh, PS... What are we talking about? 4? Yep. Is not their number one gaming platform right now. I don't know what you're playing Bloodborne on right now. It is PlayStation 4 and 5 only. Okay. Much to every PC gamer's chagrin. It's the uh, karma for Stardew 1.6 not being out on console yet. <laughs> hey, will you bring home some gold for me? Or are you fishing? Oh, I'm fishing. Okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll struggle through the mines and try to see if I can get some get some gold ore for myself here. Ooh, I got a sea cucumber. Ooh. I. I've, I've been catching super cucumbers all along, but this is my first sea cucumber. Ah, uh, the PS4 is your TV machine. Well, you should still be able to watch TV. Hmm. I should just probably uh, put out another call on Facebook and see if anybody has a PS4 in their closet that they're not using that <laughs> I can borrow for a couple months. Because presumably a lot of other people have replaced their four with their five. Yep. Or they just don't use their four anymore. Hey, where's our other chicken? I didn't lose a chicken, did I? Brown chicken! It's time to play uh, <clears throat> everyone's favorite game, Find the Chicken. Yeah, I'm a little worried that I lost a chicken. Hello! Oh, they're there. They just blend in. Um, also, I have a couple... Uh, mini PCs laying around. We could probably just do a trade and you can be using a, uh, a small PC for uh, for TV watching. This is good content, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I'm planning, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> planning a time to meet Kai and switch out a TV. <laughs> Great. I got a forgeable. I got a fall forgeable. Oh, I think... Oh, no, it's not grapes. It's blackberries. Fall. Forageable. I need... Whoa, blackberry. Common Bamboo mushroom. Lamb. And a wild plum. They what now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I get the joke, but Black. I don't know where you got the... I don't know where it started as well. You said blackberry. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, Kai's doing this for their own, their own good. They don't care about you. They just want to talk about Bloodborne with somebody. <laughs> yeah, the talking about. There's no one on the internet who wants to talk about this video game. Yeah, nobody. Uh, Bloodborne is a very uh, niche indie <laughs> hit with a very small following. Only a couple dozen people have played it. It's a very. You probably haven't heard of it. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm very... Someday I want to play Logical Journey of the Zumbinis on the stream with Dave. <laughs> Speaking of niche games with yeah. <laughs> with not a lot of people who would watch. I think it would be fun to make Dave try to figure out the rules to each game. Um, I mean, you've walked, it, walked me through quite a few of the levels Have at I? this point. Yeah. Okay. It's just so fun. I remember back in... 
when you were in grad school, I was setting you up with a Windows 98 virtual machine and yeah. trying to find a, an old Windows 98 PC to get you set up with. And then it came out on Steam, and yep. I didn't need to worry about that anymore. <laughs> I would still want to, if you can find me a way to play Troggle Trouble, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd be down with that. Which is one of the weirder uh, computer games for children. <laughs> oh, Eagle, you don't know me at all. <laughs> if you want to hear me rage weep on stream, there's lots of games to choose from. Like Kirby. <laughs> uh, Kirby didn't make me rage weep. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, he tried to get me to play a little bit of um, Elden Ring. Rage wept. Uh, tried to play Dark Souls. Rage wept. Well, I mean, that's that's the, the that's the normal human reaction to FromSoft games. <laughs> yeah, but probably also the normal human reaction is to keep trying. <laughs> In my defense, we set me down with with Elden Ring right before we got the cats. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then our lives changed rather significantly. Mm, yep. In terms of how we spent our time. Ooh, I just leveled up fishing with some green algae. That's exciting. Yay. Um. So, funny Hollow Knight story. Um, it took me maybe two or three tries to really make it through Hollow Knight. There was, like, one time where I just kind of got stuck. I couldn't figure out what my next move was. Um, and it was interesting because I remember I was fighting the brooding Moloch and failing over and over and over and over and over. And Dave was like, you don't have to be doing this right now. This is a completely optional boss fight for which you are kind of underprepared. And I said, yes, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing right now. Which now that I'm pretty good, I have a pretty good understanding of the game. Like, I had a lot of movement tech. How could I still not know what to where to go next? Because you have wall climb by the time you can fight the Brooding Moloch. Anyway, earlier, I had been trying to beat Hornet 1 and just having a miserable time of it. And so Dave came into the living room of our, our old house and I was just weeping over Hollow Knight. And he's like, what is wrong? And I said, well, I keep failing at this boss fight, but the worst part of it is that the bench is so far away that like I fail it and then I have to walk like across this entire section of the map just to get back to the boss fight. And he's like, there is a bench right underneath this boss fight. <laughs> And it turns out if you if you have a, a mental map of Hollow Knight right in front of you, like you have to go past Hornet like a foot and a half <laughs> to get to a bench and and a and a stag. And I had just not gotten that far. And so when Dave pointed out to me that like the game is not actively trying to make this that difficult for you. <laughs> like try to embrace the game helping you, but there is that no, you don't have to walk across all of Green Path to to do this fight there is a <clears throat> there is a line between difficult and unreasonably difficult yeah and, and i i was i was treating the game like it was unreasonably difficult because i just hadn't looked around enough for the for the bench there and that's not to say that for instance from soft games don't have their occasional unreasonable difficulty moments but <laughs> it, generally it's it's good to assume that if you're having some unreasonable feeling difficulty. It's probably because you're overlooking something. Yeah. Yeah, the Mantis Death March is probably my least favorite one, but also I have gotten to the point where I only take maybe two or three tries to beat the Mantis Lords anymore. Sometimes first try if I'm having a good day. Um, but yeah, that Death March is annoying. The, uh, I'm stuck in the graveyard. There we go. The... <laughs> This won't mean anything to you, but for all the Dark Souls fans out there, the uh, the Death March to Four Kings, there's just no good way to get back to that boss fight, and that's just that's so irritating. <laughs> the game has is so good in so many other ways, but there's just that one Death March to the Four Kings boss fight that is just no fun or pleasant way to do it. <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate. Is it really dangerous, or is it just annoying and long? Um, uh, long and. Not undangerous. Yeah. Not safe in a word. Well, because that's <laughs> in a I real mean, word. Both Dark Souls and Hollow Knight have that, you know, if you die on your way back, you lose your stuff, mm -hmm. which is especially annoying for, you know, you're the one who gave me an extra long death march and an extra dangerous death march. <laughs> and then you're going to punish me for dying before I get back to my guy. 
I got some anchovy roe. Ooh. It finally occurred to me to start putting this roe in the kegs. Or not the <laughs> kegs. The other things. Oop, it's midnight. Time to go. It's getting late. I was really hoping to get a wild plum today, but no dice. And by dice, I mean plums. <laughs> no plums. No plums or dice. Sad. We're going for the uh, diceless percent category here. <laughs> And slip. Wahoo. <gasps> Level two fishing. Hey, you can now make bait. Mm hmm. Good for me. Yeah. All right. We made some, we made some fish muns today. I'll take that. CGG is a great way to make souls lost stuff more accessible. Do you mean just like give up on your, on your shade altogether? Cause yeah. <laughs> That's a that's definitely a good mechanic that you could just be like, actually, I hate this. <laughs> this is a family friendly channel, but uh, I'm just gonna stand in the sprinkler for my uh, morning shower here. There you go. The uh, the Justin McElroy spider gif comes to mind. <laughs> go look go look that up if you're interested. Uh, let me. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a mining day today because I think. Let me, I'm just going to look at every fish that is available in fall. We got a catfish, we got a shad, we got a tiger trout, we got a large, large bass. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, did we ever, have we ever caught any carp? Did we catch any <laughs> carp yet? Let me think. <laughs> I'm just not sure on that carp. I'm being honest, I'm just not sure. Uh, we got bullhead, we got sardines, we got red snappers. We we got plenty of red snappers for your fish box on the last stream, if I remember right. Ooh. Uh, we got tilapia. Uh, we don't have any walleye yet, but that's rain dependent. Yep. Uh, we got bream, we got eel. We got eel, right? Yeah, we got eel. Um, ghost fish, sand fish, wood skip. Okay, yeah, we're just waiting for a walleye here. So, and that requires a rainy day. Let's go fall rain. <clears throat> I, I did, guess, however, get a wild plum over in the cave, so I'm about to go finish that <laughs> bundle. Hooray. An eel eagle. An eagle eel. Ooh. Ooh, I got my bulletin board cutscene. Prize tickets, baby. Wow. I'm going to skip through this cutscene. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to try... Cutscenes hit a lot differently when time doesn't stop in the background <laughs> for them. <laughs> Like a suit. He was wearing air like a suit. <laughs> like an air suit. Oh, oh, darn. I was going to say we have a, a pleasing amount of money, but we don't really. I saw... <laughs> there were nines and sixes. Yeah, I saw a 29,999, but... Nope, 29,966. So it's just a completely arbitrary, meaningless it's just number. just nothing. Yeah. Hardly Is there anything we can it. sell for uh, one single money? <laughs> Possibly. Oh, the, you know what actually goes for a single money is the um, dwarf scrolls after mm -hmm. after all of them have been given to one of each has been given to Gunther. If you have the same color again, it goes for a dollar. Gunther house. Oh, got my first keg. How exciting! Wahoo! And you completed a bundle. I did. I'm about to complete a second one. I'm in the wrong room. I've put so many hours into this game, and I still can't tell the <laughs> crops room from the foraging room. Da -da -da. Hey, there we go. Wild plum. Wild ladder as well. Okay. Ooh. So, another... Do I not... Do I not have any tappers on pine trees? <laughs> Man, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> bad at this video game, you guys. Oh, boy. It's impossible to be, to be bad at Stardew. I mean, there's something very sweet and true about that, but also, like, I have put hundreds of hours <laughs> into this game. I should be... I should be better than that. <laughs> Kai's not a fan of the organizational paradigms in the community center. Oh, hi, Brian! Whoop, I just pick pickaxe the jelly. Don't do that. That's uh, an inefficient way to combat. The sprites... or pres... I don't really... the. The wizard keeps asking me for prismatic slimes, and I still don't know if I know what that is in the game. <laughs> um, 
A prismatic slime. I think it's just a rainbow colored slime. I think it just is a very neon RGB gamer looking kind of slime. <laughs> is, have I ever seen it? <laughs> I wonder uh, if I've just never seen it. That's something I definitely know <laughs> I've interacted with. I just split a ghost in half, I guess. Ooh. I forgot to bring any copper or anything to trade with Clint. I suppose I could go to the level 40 in the mines and start killing some dust sprites. <clears throat> All right, level 88. You got this. Oh, did I check and see if this needed to be donated? When this baby <sighs> hits 88 floors in the mine, we're going to see some serious stuff. It's <laughs> a good reference. Was there an audible cat? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a very audible cat. Super duper audible cat. <laughs> that sounds like maple. That all right. sounds like maple. It's a very maple noise to make. Yeah. Just any loud ear splitting noise is a very God, maple he's sound. He's so to make. loud. <laughs> he's the noisiest cat on the planet. Oh wait, I, I think. And I, we love him. We love him for it. Yes. another red mushroom somewhere red mushroom no <clears throat> nope we love him despite him being loud and obnoxious the same way that you love me despite me being <laughs> loud and obnoxious oh i must have sold my red mushroom that's fine you're not loud <laughs> get it yep <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down there. <laughs> Listen, you started it. <laughs> it's only self-deprecation when I do it. Oh yeah, that's right. Otherwise, I'm just being rude. Yeah. <laughs> do, do. Lower 89. You got this, honey. Ooh, found some red mushrooms. And some blue, uh, purple mushrooms. <gasps> Get me the purple mushrooms. We need so many purple mushrooms. All right, there we go. Ooh, perfect. We got an instant, instant floor here. I'm going to dig myself a hole and eat some cake. <laughs> it's a totally normal thing to do. <laughs> Just start you things. Just having a regular Tuesday afternoon. I'm going <laughs> to dig a hole and sit in it and eat some chocolate. Just stuff chocolate cake into my mouth. <laughs> Pop, chocolate cake I took out of my backpack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to get all of the easily retrievable things from this floor, like purple mushrooms. Yay. And red mushrooms. What are, the, what are, what are mushrooms good for? Well, purple mushrooms are actually pretty good at health. Also, I need some purple mushrooms for uh the community center and eventually red plus purple plus moral plus chanterelle together creates a life elixir which is a hundred percent health replacement Ooh. yeah it's pretty good okay ridiculously i don't think i have any tappers on any pine trees or if i do i don't know where they are so <laughs> we're gonna get us some pine tar at some point <laughs> Pine tar sounds like an 80s Saturday morning cartoon <laughs> villain. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright. I am going to utilize some of my terrible sprinklers just because I have fall seeds that need to be used and up. Nine there. Wahoo! Good job, honey! Obsidian Edge. Ooh. That's the that's uh, that's some that's some grim dark emo <laughs> kind of blade naming right there. <laughs> All right, some good forageable seeds. It's getting dark earlier in Stardew Valley Town. Yep. I don't like the simulation of that aspect of reality. Sorry. It's true. 
Oops, I, uh, well, I didn't accidentally use my sword on Schmaple, but I did <laughs> block against Schmaple. <laughs> Resist the Schmaple. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh boy. I have a nearly full inventory and I went to the Oh, that's why. I went to the wrong one. Yeah. Never mind. Okay, there we go. Um red mushrooms, purple mushrooms. I got a ooh, I got a, a farm totem. Nice. I might wanna you just hang on to that. Yeah. That's worth just keeping in your back pocket. Stardew seasonal affective disorder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we don't need everything in the game to be realistic, and it getting dark earlier is definitely one of those things. Um, I'm gonna put. Ooh, some... you brought me home gold. Thank you. I'm gonna put some weapons in uh, some obsolescent weapons in the uh, in the <laughs> Dave bucket for you. Thank you. Obsidian edge sounds quite intense. Dun dun dun. Um, am I gonna... Okay, where do you want all these mushrooms? I got a lot of mushrooms. Oh, they go in the brown... The right... Oh, Pants is trying to sleep. That, <laughs> that's definitely something we should screenshot. <laughs> butts is trying to sleep. <laughs> pants and butts. Pants, pants and butts. butts. Pants and butts. Uh, Last time we did that, we did it much more naturally. This time I was like, ooh, he's doing a bit. <laughs> um, I also got one coal. Sorry, um, mushrooms go in the brown one, coal goes in the black um, one. I put them in the burgundy one. Okay. Because the, there's not enough room in the... Oh, oh look at... Oh, that's so many mushrooms. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> I'm going to go donate this right now. Uh, I'm going to take that coal out and put it in the one that looks like it should have coal. <laughs> the black one? Yes. I presume there is no coal in there currently because it's all been consumed. I'm probably just carrying it. Huh. Consumed and <sighs> or absconded with. Goes. Everybody watched me a while ago check and see where else I needed red mushrooms and I couldn't find it, but now I found it. Yay. We are making progress. Making bacon progress. Oh boy. <laughs> I I say that on stream plenty, don't worry. Okay. That is not a... I mean, it, it is a weird thing to say, but it's a weird thing that I say frequently enough anyway. <laughs> People are used to it by now. Yep. There's that thing that Dave says again. Do, 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 do. Um, I yeah. forgotten the Maki roll again. I'm going to bed. I will come to bed as soon as I'm done putting things in community centers. Pants is trying to sleep. <laughs> Are you going to rename yourself Pants? <laughs> no, I don't have a community center chest, and I know that's what some people do, but I tend to deliver everything to the community center as soon as I have it. Ooh, I can finish this bundle off just right now. So I don't have a community center chest because I usually just, as soon as I have it, I go and do it, which I think bothers people. Possibly people in this room. I'm sorry, I was focused on drinking water and not drowning. I didn't mean you, I meant Kai. Oh. But I have some good food for you to take into the mines. Hooray! Hooray! I like food. I know you do. Yes, I, I admittedly probably did not adjust my play style for, <laughs> for having Dave also. <laughs> uh, I did actually, in my upstairs save, I finally created a chest for things to go back to Ginger Island because I was struggling to organize my stuff. But then I discovered big chests, so now it's kind of superfluous. Did I already make a, uh, a joke about... Uh, about liking big chests and not being able to lie? Yes, you okay. did. Just making sure. Maybe. Don't worry, I wouldn't have let that go under Maybe, underutilized. Uh, I'll, I'll check that one off the list then. Yep. We've, we've done the thing. You guys, he did a literal little check mark in the air. <laughs> I've, I'm, I've got nothing else to do with my hands at the moment, so I'm, I'm gesticulating wildly. Yeah. Okie doke. And to bed. With Shmaple and Dave. Yay. Wahoo. Level three foraging. I can make moss soup. 
Yay! And a cookout kit. What is, what's that all about? It lets you cook on the road. So, like, you can kind of make, like, a little campfire and then and then mm. cook like you would in a the kitchen. There's a chance I never cooked well, in this game. <laughs> I mean, part of the issue with things like the maki roll... The maki roll, you technically need a kitchen for, which is one of the reasons that I had you buy it. Because then you don't actually need to cook it. So you can cook it without a kitchen. But it occurs to me that the campout kit probably then also allows you to cook it without a kitchen. <coughs> Speaking of which, I'm going to go donate this maki roll right now because I've forgotten like nine times. Marnie wants, quote, a bunch of amaranth. It's growing, Marnie. Hold your horses. <laughs> I don't know how much is growing. I might, I don't know for sure if I'll have enough to donate to your cows. <laughs> a quote unquote buttload of amaranth. She did not say that. All right. I'm only conceding on that point because there's photographic evidence yep. that's been recorded. Yep. Otherwise, you just stick with it. Because why not? No. It's fun to stick to your guns. <laughs> Floor 90. You can do it. Oh, the fried egg. Yeah, we have to cook a fried egg. Climbing down the ladder. But yeah, maybe the cookout kit you can cook your fried egg on. Oh yeah, this sword is pretty slow, but also devastating. So I'll take it. Oof. I have far too much of a... Does your high schools have that senior assassins game? No? Question mark? Senior assassins. <laughs> like senior as in high school student senior or oh. senior as in senior citizen? <laughs> Where the seniors all compete in a water gun tournament. I don't think so. That sounds kind of fun. Where all the high school students just gang up and... Oh, dang, wow, I died real fast. <laughs> Good what? job, honey bunny. What even killed me? I don't even know. Oh, uh, okay. Dang, I just, I thought I was... Just all of a sudden you're not here anymore? Yeah, I, I blunk, and in the time it took me to blink, my life, my health went from uh, a reasonable amount to not. Oops. Who's Maru? Somebody's kid. Yeah. It might be... Robin and Demetrius's kid. I mm. think it's Demetrius's daughter from his first marriage because Stardew is that complex of a game. Mm. Is well, she the one who found you? She's the one who found me. She was hunting for minerals. Apparently someone with conceal and carry was alarmed by high schoolers coming to restaurants with black painted water guns. Yeah, that sounds like a bad a bad vibe. Oh no, I lost two slime. <gasps> and thirty one hundred money, but Oops. I like the idea that Maru just mugged me. Yeah. And just this child decided, oh, look, an unconscious person. Yep, I'm going to take his stuff. A, a loaded unconscious person. Okay, so Kai, is this a, a current news event or from back from when you were in high school with the parents and the restaurant and stuff? Ah. This is current news, I see. Yeah, that feels like something that we would have done in, that is different in 2003 than it is today. I like how, like, so I was bleeding profusely, according to my my UI here, <laughs> and I cured this the problem by drinking some mayonnaise, and I just like the idea of, like, that would probably work in real life because your <laughs> cholesterol would just skyrocket so high that your blood just congeals <laughs> and you can't bleed anymore. Hey, look, I made a cookout kit and I made a fried egg. Hooray! Actually, I made two, so can come I over make, here. Can I make, like, cake toast? Uh, first, you can only make stuff that we have the recipe for, which is not oh. much. <laughs> Mostly because we're I'm not paying attention to the TV. But uh, here, come here, I'll give you an egg. Egg. Yeah, I'm. It's possible I've never actually played, made the cookout kit before. That's really. It never occurred to me that you could jump the gun on not having to. I guess you could never upgrade to a kitchen 
and still get the community center. That's probably how speedrunners do it now that I think about it. Roots. Never occurred to me before. <laughs> Sorry. What? Um, when I see the word roots, I think of a song by <laughs> Skindred. That's it. That's Ugh. who does that song. And I have no idea how many people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Kai gets it. Do they? <laughs> well, they're saying roots with you, so. <laughs> Uh, what is Poppy? Poppy might be a fall thing. <laughs> Kai says, nope. They're just, they're going with you. They just give you, I'm gonna go see what the, what the barn Ooh, requirements uh, are. What happened? Uh, Cutscene, all of a sudden. My, my game has been hijacked. It, is it the bulletin board? Yeah, showed up at the perfect time. It's our new special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. Grew the trees and everything. That's a pity that uh, I had your audio on because Robin accused Lewis of doing nothing but just holding the nails. Um, and he did a surprise shock kind yeah. of thing. But for some reason, the sound effect that accompanied that was this very squishy sound that. <laughs> sound just he, he needs he no wonder he needs his shorts back <laughs> I don't I don't see the connection there he needs to replace the shorts he's wearing oh, currently dun, 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 dun. I get it so is this a cutscene that people usually see like 20 minutes into the game <laughs> no I'm pretty sure that that um that's a I think it's timing. I don't think that comes out until fall anyway. Oh, okay. Kai's just doing weird outbursts now. Poop. <laughs> John Goodman. <laughs> it's never the wrong time for John Goodman. Okay, <laughs> I had a plan. Oh, I was going to do rocks, but I'm probably not going to get back. Oh, I think I need 250 anyway. And I don't have a thing. All right. Bring me home some rocks so I can build a barn tomorrow. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Here comes John Goodman! You can't stop the Goodman. <laughs> where am I even... Where am I right now? Oh, I'm behind the community center. <laughs> I don't know why. There's... Okay. I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> just keep going until you see something familiar. Yeah, I just want to go to the spa. <laughs> Did you there run out of energy? Well, I ran out of everything just now. I see. <laughs> I, Did you die? Yeah. Oh, honey. Remember Maru? Oh, yeah. She mugged me. That was a long time ago in my brain. Yep. I've been looking for the spa for a long time. It's it's with Leg Eater. <laughs> Leg Eater is a myth. <laughs> it's one of those um, made-up internet things like the Berenstein Bears. <laughs> no, the leg eater is not a Mandela effect. You're just bad at finding leg eater. <laughs> who is a Hollow Knight NPC shopkeeper who Dave once spent like four hours on stream wandering around trying to find. And we wouldn't tell him where it was and it was quite funny. And we get a lot of mileage making fun of Dave for not being able to find leg eater. You know, the NPC that doesn't exist. Yep. Which is why I couldn't find Leg Eater. Kai's talking about Big Lebowski, so you're going to have to take oh. this one. Uh, the Iranian yogurt is not the issue here. Is that a piece of the internet you're familiar with? His face says no. I'm trying to, well... That, what... I do not know. <laughs> Kai's talking about a top comment, and I'm not sure what top comment. Oh, so do you not know the Iranian yogurt story? Nope. So there's a pretty f internet famous Am I the A Hole? Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, post about. Enlighten a, me. A woman whose husband, like, clearly has a mental health problem where he obsessively collects yogurt. <laughs> 
Hmm. Like, their entire house. Like, I think they lease a new apartment with more rooms just so he can collect more yogurt. <laughs> like, individual... That's a great idea for my headphone collection. tubs of yogurt. And at one point, I think, I think like, the straw that breaks the camel's back, Pants is trying to sleep. The reason <laughs> that the, the... I think it's a woman is the other partner comes to reddit is because she threw out like a particularly rotten smelling unrefrigerated piece like cup of iranian yogurt and her partner is so angry that she threw out that one thing of iranian yogurt she's like am i the a-hole for throwing out this iranian yogurt and the top comment on the on the reddit post is the the iranian yogurt is not the issue here (laughs) and that's become internet shorthand for you have much 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 larger (laughs) more substantial problems than the small thing you're talking about right now uh and apparently that that is also a lebowski reference The is not the issue here part. Mm-hmm. Got it. <sighs> uh, I have two stone. I no longer have two stone. Now that's, you have two stone. I'm sorry, that's all you came home from the... <laughs> <laughs> yep, apparently. How did you go to the mines and only get two stone? I got my butt handed to me almost immediately. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, 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 I blunk and then was dead for blinking. Okay, can you hand me your pickaxe then? Uh, it's already copper. I know. Okay. I just want to use it. Uh, I cannot hand you my pickaxe. Okay, put it in the thing. I cannot put it in that thing. Uh, It'll be in the blue. Thank you. I see. It's a synecdid... Synecdid... I know it's not Schenectady, New York, but that's kind of all the only way I can pronounce it. The Iranian yogurt is a part for the whole, you know, and all... Bleh, bleh, bleh. I need a text-to-speech thing. It's a sign of kind and of to Jody. <laughs> That's also a very good <laughs> deep cut internet <laughs> reference. Oh, still. Synecdoche. That, see, that just doesn't seem like enough syllables somehow. Dave has gone to bed and covered up my stone number. 248. Come on. 250. Hot diggity. Synecdoche. Welcome to Words with Catherine. Woo! Where we pronounce words with Catherine. I was going to say, we? I'm out here pronouncing words. <laughs> Shoot a noofy doofy poopy. <laughs> Ulalan Dargunanos. What was that supposed to be? Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> Did not know about that one. <laughs> I'm sure by now, anyway, the internet has forgotten about the thing that we're we're uh, referencing, and uh, I'm just gonna keep it that way. Yep. You're not allowed to understand what we're riffing on right now. Juggy br- <laughs> Grundle Thunder. Brodal team. Oh shoot, that's full. Okay. Juggy Brodal team. Come to the black thing to get your pickaxe. Yay! And then I'm gonna go and get my pickaxe. Oh, I. My my copper pickaxe. Yeah, I gave you a po- copper pickaxe. I'm giving it back to you. Why? Because it's yours. Because you can't go mining. You don't. I thought. Oh, I thought you were taking it from me to upgrade it. No. <laughs> I can go re-upgrade the one that I'm just gonna go pick up today if you want. That's what I'll do. I'm just gonna patch maple. Have fun. Shooty doofy doofy poopy, a poopy. No poopy. That's, <laughs> there's some poor audience member out there wondering, am I having a stroke? Am I having a stroke or are they having a stroke? <laughs> yeah, with somebody it's clearly here is one having or the a stroke. Other. Who could it be? Maybe it's a... Maybe everyone's having a collective stroke. Yep. We're all sharing a stroke together. <laughs> Alright, let's try to not instantly die this time. Good luck. The thing about uh, instantly dying is it uh, it, uh, it sucks a bit. It's pretty inconvenient. There we go. Dying's bad. <laughs> let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think dying is bad. <laughs> I wonder how long this cooking kit is gonna just live here. That's really cute. Oh, 
It's going red. Oh, it's gone already. Okay, <laughs> that answers that question. The red mist is descending. Don't die. Just gonna back myself into a corner like a predator. <laughs> <laughs> I always back. I try to back the slimes into the corner so I can just wail on them without them jumping at me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll admit that dying is probably the best thing for some people. <laughs> Not naming names. Some former presidents. I see. <laughs> and I other such. And uh, some former, uh, what was, uh, what was McConnell's speaker of the uh, uh not naming names, of course, but just for <laughs> just example. Just asking. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were secondary. I thought you were going to say sec former secretaries of state, but Kissinger did finally eat uh, it. Yeah, true. Um, <laughs> yeah, Eagle, uh, we'll, uh, we'll permit you your, your continued existence. <laughs> we'll, 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 we've considered it and we've decided <laughs> that you are allowed to continue living. We are the arbiters of this. We're in charge here. Yep. This is our tiny corner of the internet. This was our decision. And our decision alone. There you go. Senate Majority Leader. Yeah. Some, uh, Something some, like that. Some former those could probably... The world might benefit from <laughs> from death happening to some of those. Going to just do that on the internet? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is that is that a hot take? I don't think that's really a hot take. <laughs> There's the uh, the m m bim bam bit where Travis suggests pushing Ted Cruz into an open grave, <laughs> and they're like, "I meant like in a community theater production of of Christmas Carol." That's all. <laughs> all right, I was gonna just upgrade it again. Do you want me to upgrade a pickaxe or uh, I can't upgrade the axe to gold because I didn't bring gold with me. So upgrading a pickaxe again. Hooray! I didn't say that I was going to be the one to deliver death upon him. Sure. Or that anyone should. Sure. Just if it were to happen. Yep. World might just be better for it is all. Sure. <laughs> yes. They've heard that Ted Cruz likes to piss on his leg to feel the, the wet feeling on his legs. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah. They've heard that. <laughs> Floor number 93. Oh, red mist descending immediately. Careful. Time to back myself into a corner like a real predator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it, why isn't it working? <laughs> Your real predator nature isn't working for you, huh? Mm, apparently not. Okay, my health is still reasonable. Hey. Hi, I've been meaning to ask you a 1.6 Q if you might have an A for me. Uh, the Q in question stands for question. So when the you look at A the... A stands for allegory. When you look at the map, there's actually a thing on the map for Lonely Stone. And it's this rock right here, I guess. Did it used to have a name in the map in 1.5? Like, am I supposed to throw like a secret rock at this rock and is this like the galaxy sword thing where there's a secret note somewhere telling you what to do with this stone because i don't ever remember seeing that on the map you saw the wizard standing on it what i knew it was something cool i why don't i know what the oh the b stands for botulism Just doing your own thing, huh? <laughs> yep. Saw the wizard standing on it at a festival. Fascinating. This is such a fascinating game. Yeah, the the galaxy sword I have, it's just I was saying like an equally sort of random event that you that you you wouldn't be able to figure out unless you figure it out unless you like find a note or somebody explains it to you i'm wondering if that's what the galaxy or no the lonely stone is all about and the c stands for chub just gonna keep going huh? <laughs> yep. oh yeah Everybody put C's in the chat for Kai. <laughs> and if you don't, they'll ban you because they're a mod and they can do it. 
They have the power. Just watch them. And they're dying to abuse it. <laughs> Itchy trigger finger on that one. A couple weeks ago, they were like, I'm a mod. <laughs> oh, the slime is just clipping into me here. Uh-oh. Oop, and then I axed. There we go. <laughs> We didn't actually make you sign, like, a code of conduct or, like, a terms of service for becoming a mod. You can actually do whatever you want, it turns out. Fun! There we go. I need any of these things. Drinking some life-saving mayo. You're welcome for that life-saving mayo. Thanks. The chickens worked very hard on it. <laughs> I did not do as much, admittedly. <laughs> Eagle can do whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, what's the AGDA's uh, citation system? Chicago? Oh, you're just going to steal one? Yep. You're not going to come up with your own? <laughs> uh, Atlanta? <laughs> the AGDA is going to plagiarize their citation system <laughs> in an excellent uh, s stroke of irony. <laughs> Tallahassee? <laughs> oh, man. That's why we're friends, because we can make parenthetical citation jokes. <laughs> we can do riffs on parenthetical citations. Oh, we're special kinds of nerds over here at the Good Dave. Yep, you can uh, you can spot the uh, post grad students. <laughs> Two point three A. <sighs> Lower ninety four. There's so many rocks. Heck. Rocks are good. Rocks are useful. Yeah, but I gotta I gotta hit so many of them to make a staircase up here. Here. Yep. The, uh, wow, cake is good. Totally. Thanks for the cake. You're welcome. <laughs> Rocks are hard. <laughs> Imagine that. That is a that's a that's a that's a fine wisdom right there. Hey, floor ninety five. You did it. Wahoo. <laughs> that's some pretty uh. Pretty straightforward advice, yeah. <laughs> everything else, just uh, just go with the flow. But everything else is pretty much just like, try to do your best and be nice to people. <laughs> try not to hurt anybody. Shmaple. Hi, Shmaple. I found a Shmaple. Aww. Uh, let's see. In I case have... anybody's curious that's exactly how he sounds with our actual cats yes that, that is my talking to a cat voice yep oh wait i am i must there we go offer your slime to catherine oh <laughs> no <laughs> you rejected my slime oh did i no i didn't i'm holding oh, it okay oh that's right i do only you know only hand off one yeah which is in an interesting design decision. Yeah. Put it that way. I think it's probably more likely supposed to be for, you know, just here, have some cake so that you don't die mm -hmm. and not an inability to use chests for what they were <laughs> originally intended for. <laughs> oh, that's right. We already upgraded my axe because I needed to get into the secret woods. Come on, rain day. Let's check off some fish off this list, huh? Well, I mean, there's, there's there's only one fall fish we need, I think. Oh, really? Just the walleye. All right. Or let me. Where's the community center? Fish Oops. tank. Again, a lot of my issues were probably walleye. That uh, I skipped a lot of my correct fish in the spring. Correct fish battery staple. <laughs> it's horse something battery staple. <laughs> It's correct horse battery stable. Correct horse battery stable. Man, we are just busting out all the deep internet references that we can, aren't we? <laughs> tiger trout. Where is a uh, tiger trout? Is oh, okay. Did you I mess up? That. Yeah, <gasps> I missed that. Apparently, I can be catching a tiger trout from a river, 
at from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. during any weather. Okay, so actually, so Let's that's river, that. and the walleye is also river. Okay, so next <laughs> rainy day, I'm gonna head out and try to catch both. Yeah, next rainy day is definitely important. It's correct horse battery staple. Yep. Uh, oops. I there we go. Oh, you went to bed. Okay, I'll stop looking at stuff. It's fine. No looking at stuff allowed. Oh, we don't look at stuff here at the Good Dave channel. We just click. Can I go to bed in real life? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, for context for our audience. It's a uh, <laughs> quarter to four in the afternoon here. <laughs> Probably not a good sign. <laughs> Let's see how much mun we made. Not, not real. <laughs> well, a lot of that was me putting your row in a, in a thing. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. You betcha. Thanks for getting the row. Hey, listen. Can you hit the thing for Oh, me? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm gonna hold the, you hostage here. Gotta make the music happen. Reason for that being, we're gonna take our second break of the stream. Whoa, there's, the, the earth is molting. There's some stuff happening. Mm. I'm confused. All right. But we're going to take our second break of the stream today. Um, if this is your first time here, that's what we do. We just hang out and relax and have some nice times with some nice Vigi games. That sounds like your bag. I recommend a like, a follow, subscribe, etc. It's fast and free and it'll keep you connected for our future uh, nice gaming shenanigans. Um, during the week, I'm also doing my uh, first Earthbound playthrough, which is absurd and exciting. <laughs> so, <laughs> tune into that if that sounds interesting. Um, if you're already a fan of the channel, something you can do to help grow the channel is uh, you can make uh, clips on Twitch or uh, on YouTube. You can leave a comment to some of your favorite moments, and I can turn those timestamps into, uh, into clips and put those all over the internet get a lot of good views that way uh when we come back we're gonna keep on keeping on i'm gonna keep speed lunkin what are you gonna be doing that's a really good question i don't know well will figure it out when we come back hooray stay stay tuned it'll be good whatever it is <laughs> drama it's suspense possible I don't, it's possible i don't plan things on stardew as much as you think i do <laughs> oh the intrigue <laughs> all right we'll be back in just a little bit enjoy the kitten photos while we're away and hang tight
Hello everybody, I hope you are having a comfy, a cozy, and an extra, extra, extra large Saturday afternoon. First things first, hello Catherine, dear lovely Catherine, darling wife. Hello, hello. She's here. She hasn't left me yet. Hooray. She did just wave at the microphone though. Yeah, that's... In an extremely normal thing to do. It's a photo microphone. Uh, so... Uh, a couple, uh, some some weeks ago, I guess we can get started while I'm doing the thing. Thank you. Uh, e. No, I'm going to send the E to chat real quick. There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, some months ago, no, I was on uh, I was on Amazon, and it advertised to me a uh, a, a uh, strictly speaking a pet bed. Hey, Shmeepo. Uh, that was on sale. It was normally like, supposedly it was normally a hundred dollars or so, but it was on a flash sale for thirteen dollars, and I thought, well, heck, it did have to be a pretty bad pet bed to not be worth thirteen dollars. Hey, we have pets. <laughs> yeah, we we have pet beds. Th uh, we have pets. Thirteen is a number. This is this is kismet right here. Uh, so I've been, and it reviewed well enough anyway. So very, okay, give it a shot. Bought the bought the hundred dollar cat bed for thirteen bucks. Uh, sometime later, it arrives in the mail, and it uh, turns out the thing is bloody massive. It's no, it's just it's like right now we have it set up on our dining room table, which at first. I described as taking up more than half of our dining room table, but even that's an under uh, an understatement. It is it's, just, it's about the size of a dining room table. I think it's intended for like, you know, 150 pound dogs, like Great Dane kind of thing, like a Scooby Doo kind of cat <laughs> dog, dog bed. And and we got it for our two 10 pound cats, and who, uh, who also don't really like each other enough to use it at the same time. So yeah. functionally, it's for one 10 pound cat at a time. <laughs> so. So, uh, so, yeah, I'm, and maybe I should have, uh, first, I guess, suffice it to say, uh, definitely worth the $13 <laughs> I paid for it, but, uh, perhaps next time I'll, uh, I'll look at some measurements before I actually click buy on that kind of stuff, because, so boy! Is that what you'd say, that you didn't look at the measurements at all? Yeah, I mean, because, like, we just have two tiny cats, just the smallest pet bed would suffice, so I thought the size was irrelevant. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> we, are, we are literally considering getting rid of an entire futon that was gifted to us years ago in, in favor of having a place in our house to put this cat bed. <laughs> yeah, so, it's, uh, I, uh... Uh, just just a, a slight oops on my part, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it was certainly worth the thirteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, money, money not wasted. Space, space is space is, space is wasted, is wasted yeah. in a big way. But money, it's all right. For the record, we don't use our dining room table as a dining room table. It is largely the cat's territory yeah. anyway. <laughs> uh, it's not like the cat bed kicked us out of our main place to eat. <laughs> we largely eat exclusively on our couch, and occasionally we have some. We have a stool next to our sort of lower counter on our kitchen, sort of a bar type thing. Yep. Um, so no, it's not like we lost the space for eating, but... Uh, <laughs> if we replace the futon with the cat bed, quote unquote cat bed, yeah. <laughs> then we'll lose some futon space. But <laughs> yeah. No, it is straight up like the size of a futon. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's uh, so yeah, well, if you're ever uh, if you're ever offered any flash sales like that, and you think, oh heck, sure, read read about uh, dimensions. Pay, pay maybe. a little more attention. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. We are here with Stardew Valley. I'm in the mines. I've no. That's uh. We've been looking at me the whole time. Let's look at the both of us. Why not? There we go. I'm just doing random. Random errands. Random errands is how I describe my Stardew Valley play style, essentially. I'm uh, I'm collecting lots of crabs here. Gross. First, uh, first I couldn't stop collecting the chubs. Now I'm inundated with crabs. All right, I got a free floor. Just handed a ladder to me as soon as I uh, crept it down. I'm sure Dave did not check his luck today, but it sounds like he's having a good luck day. Hooray! Yeah, uh, yeah, there's another ladder. All right, this is gonna be a quick five. Yeah. Okay, I'm so glad we can keep you company in the drive through pharmacy lane. Yeah. What a fascinating modern age we live in. <laughs> 
and I was, uh, alright, already 98. Catching up to floor 100 real fast, like. Ew, it's only 120. You might make a lot of good progress today. Nah. No? <laughs> I'm just gonna get to floor 99 and book it. You're not feeling it? Yeah, I don't feel like making any progress today. <gasps> Kai's taking Busy to the P-A-R-K. Everyone's <laughs> favorite place. Floor 99. Only got one more to go. Excellent. To the People's Republic of Korea? Yes. I hear dogs love that place. <laughs> it's okay, Busy. It'll all be worth it in the end. Yeah. Well, hopefully not in the end. I know Maple doesn't care for, for it in the end. Listen. <laughs> Maple is not a fan of... Uh, Having stuff done to him in his uh, in his behind us, if I guess you can, is the medical word. He did hiss at the vet once this morning. Yeah, he, it was he, a warning hiss. Yeah. It's like just so you know, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I remember what you did to my butt that one time, and I uh, I'm watching you. Says our cat, not me. <laughs> That's me doing a maple impression. Hard to tell because I wasn't shouting at the top of my lungs like Maple often does. Oh, but, Maple. You know. He's such a loud boy. He's a loud cat. He's the loudest boy. Descended from a long line of air raid sirens. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kai, I'm glad you're out doing errands and don't have to watch my ridiculous crop organization. You're, it's better for everyone's health if you don't have to sit through that. <laughs> uh, speaking of cats, an update on my... Uh, other Stardew file. I'm getting close to, I think, wanting to settle in and buy all the cats from Marnie. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to setting up cat trees in my house. Um, I've never been... I've always been the kind of person... I've always wanted to get deep into decorating in Stardew, but I don't for some reason. And then 1.6, you can make your house like like twice as big maybe that's an overestimate but there's like three new rooms that you can set up in 1.6 so i'm really gonna try to take advantage of all that space my thoughts are i'm gonna have one room that's just cat trees just it's just gonna be all the cat stuff and there's probably like cat cat flavored flavored that's not right <laughs> cat cat themed wallpaper i mean it might be cat flavored as well you probably are not going to lick the wallpaper and hey, you don't know what cat tastes like. So. You're lucky I didn't accidentally say cat scented wa <laughs> wallpaper because that was in my brain too. Can I go in the, I'm on a... Oh, darn, I went backwards. I, I'm on a... I didn't realize it until it was much too late, but I'm on a floor that's just a big spiral. Oh, that's, that's the worst floor. Good luck. Yeah. So I'm hoping to have one room for cat stuff. I'm hoping to have one room for fish tanks and fish-related design and then uh i'm for it there's i guess a there's not i guess i have purchased a junimo catalog so a, a furniture catalog specifically about junimo stuff so i'm i have a mushroom lamp thanks to that catalog so i might make a foresty junimo room i've never actually i'm not 100 percent sure where in the game you get that giant stuffed junimo uh, I, i've seen other people with it um, so I'm interested in that and, and like it, I want to be the kind of person who makes a cute house in game and I don't know what it is that's kind of holding me back from <laughs> it. So I'm just going to see how it goes this time. Well, it's, uh, if something's holding you back, it's probably me. No, I mean in my other game. <laughs> oh yeah, it's probably me. <gasps> no. But the good thing about how our setup is that uh, I'm playing on a GOG account just in Dave's save file. So eventually, if my house is ready to show off, we can show off my other house on this here stream. Technically, Dave could just sit and watch me play my, my save on camera. This is true. And he would just provide that, that trademark Dave uh, wit that everyone knows and loves. That everyone knows. <laughs> See, but that was funny. <laughs> that joke about how you're not funny was funny. <laughs> I can only apologize. Uh. Oh, bats. Stop it with the bats. Bats. 
Some days you just can't get rid of a bat. Nope. Chop, chop, chop. Just gonna keep chopping trees. Alright, I made it to the middle of the big spiral. Good job. I hope you find a ladder. Oh yeah, it's not necessarily in the middle, is it? Oh darn. <laughs> okay. Have you not been, you, you haven't necessarily been chopping uh, rocks to get there? Nope, I was just racing to the middle because that's what I assumed where that's where the ladder was. I, th I mean, I think it might more often be in the middle, but... I guess I'll, I'll start here. I do happen to have a warp totem to get me back home. Oh, so. there you go. Hey, warp totems, do I have the recipe yet? Warp totems are not all that difficult to make, so don't feel like you're... Mm. Weirdly, we have the recipe for the beach warp totem, which Ooh. would get you out of the mines anyway. <laughs> and it'd get me on in a, a fishing spot. Yeah. I like fishing spots. I thought you might. Have you heard about uh, this thing called uh, fishing? Did you know Dave likes fishing? You can uh, throw uh, throw some uh, throw some garbage in the water, and a uh, fish comes out. <laughs> and then you get money from the fish. It's like a whole ecosystem. You see this living thing I pulled out of the ocean? It's made of fish. What? You can eat it. Or sell it. Or sell it to somebody who then will eat it. One hopes. It's in. I'm not sure what you're implying. Oh, what I else is there to do with a fish? I don't know. Just we don't ever actually see anybody eat them. Kai, I think ladders are. I've heard speedrunners sort of talk about ladders in a way that I feel like there's maybe a set set selection of where they can be and then within that selection there RNG it might be different for each level also there might be some levels where they're more likely to come up in a certain place okay I have seven bombs it's time to start planting oh yeah how big is the hey there we go all right just had to lay down a bomb good and job ba -ba -ba. wahoo Floor 100. Floor 100! I found a star drop. Look at you. What, nom, did you nom, nom. what did you say your favorite thing was? I don't remember. Nor do I. Let's find <gasps> Let's out together. Find out. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of pants. Of course I said <laughs> pants. <laughs> Hooray. Everyone's surprised. <laughs> your maximum energy level has pants. <laughs> All right. And, oops, it's getting late. I can, I'm just going to go ahead and do the warp. Woo! Let's do the warp totem again. <laughs> pew, pew. That's one of those jokes you just see coming and there's nothing you can do about mm, it. Yep. You're required to make that joke. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, time to deposit a whole bunch of stuff. Time to sell when you get to warp back home. You don't have to walk all that way. I have I have two crabs. Where would you like me to deposit my crabs? Blue thing. Okay. If I don't know. If there's room. <laughs> I didn't get it from the ocean. I was trying to answer you earnestly. Okay. There, there was, I wasn't trying to be mad in the way I answered. There was a tone of, you know, dot, 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 you idiot at the end of that sentence. I would never take that tone with you. I don't know. Never, ever. That's... Truly, though, I didn't mean it that time. <laughs> I, uh, did an on guard with, uh, with Schmaple before bed. Of course. Water is blue and the crabs sometimes come from the water. <laughs> Yay, level four mining. Woo! I can make a transmute. <laughs> and I, ooh, and a glowstone ring. Hey. You is can make a, a glowstone ring? Uh, yes, I have a recipe for it now. Excellent. Is, I thought it was just called a glow ring. Is a glow ring different from a glowstone ring or am I just... Uh, dumb in several ways. I do not think there's a functional difference. Okay. Um, do I want to want to, do I want to be a fighter or a scout? Ten percent more damage or fifty percent more crit chance? I don't really know what crit chance means, so I probably always do the other one. I'm gonna uh, let's go let's go crit chance. Go for it, man. Living life on the edge. We're playing the game the exciting way. <laughs> the guessing through the choices <laughs> way. <laughs> Hold on to your the seat of your edge of your pants. The edge of your seat pants. We're going for a ride. Woo! Or whatever. 
Mm. Ooh, a mystery box. Um, it's not raining, so that's not helpful. Nope. I would never feel like it rains as much in the spring, in the fall, as one wants it to. All I need is one rainy day. Uh, do I... Should I bring any food with me? Do you have any more cake? I do not, sorry. Well, I'm gonna bring a staircase. Because the past couple of times I've been in the mines, I've, I've pined for my staircase. Yep. Do you have a staircase recipe? Uh, yeah, I do, so you almost certainly do. Oh, dang. You, you made some Autumn's Bounty. I did. Is I that... earned some Autumn's. I won? Uh, mm. It came in, a, it was a prize. Actually, if you go to the museum, you might be able to pick up your own version of that reward. Mm. If you have time before you want to go mining. Am I permitted to eat the Autumn's Bounty? Yeah, it's for you to go hunting, or er, yeah. mining with. Yay. Oh, show. I have been permitted to eat food. Yay. Yes, I'm I'm a very mean wife. <laughs> Sometimes I don't let him eat. You know, it's a good day when you have been given permission to eat. No problems here. <laughs> Nobody call anybody. We're doing fine. Yep. Let's see. I pet the shmaple. Yay. Have you pet the shmaple? I don't remember to pet the shmaple as much. Aww. I pet the chickens. Okay, I'll go. where did the shmeeple go? <gasps> shmeeple. The park is reportedly hopping. Ooh. Because it is a nice day outside. I'm sure it's beautiful. It's, <laughs> I don't know if it's the first day this year, but it's certainly one of the few days so far this year where it's cracked 70 degrees. Yep. It was 70 in like February, and then it <laughs> snowed in April. Yep. And now here we are. Climate change, everybody. Yeah, we're doing yeah, a great job. Favorite. Um, collect rewards? Is that why I'm here? Yes, okay. Oh, boy, there's so many. <laughs> I don't... I have some pumpkin seeds. Ooh, grab those. And I have the obsidian contrabassoon. You can leave that if you're so inclined. <laughs> okay, get... Yeah, all right, I'll just take all this stuff. Corn, pumpkin, eggplant. I was hoping for some... For some uh, Autumn's Bounty, but oh well. You didn't get any? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope. I've been misled. I misled you. By my own Was wife. Is that where I got it? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be an interesting question for me to answer when I will rewatch this VOD. Is where did I get my where did I get my Autumn's Bounty? Okay, I'm on board with it looking enough like a bassoon, but you said tuba the first bunch of times. Yeah, I'm we're I'm I'm retconning that. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, he said bassoon from the jump. Yep. Never mind all of the recordings of me saying tuba. Nope. I wasn't saying tuba, I was saying two bassoons. <laughs> I mean you could get the other one and then we could have two bassoons. Mm-hmm. Alright. Corn and pumpkin are both growing. Oof, that's a big bear. What, in the shrine? In, in my inventory now. Oh. There we ah, go. Ah, you picked up your own bear reward, yes. Yep. All right. Well, let's see. That'll have to go in the uh, in the flamingo shrine. The flamingo shrine that for some reason has two bears in it. <laughs> Wish it bears on either side. Bears to the left of me, bears to the right. Here I am, a flamingo with you. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant... That's right, plant this bear here. <laughs> and Is it going to grow into more bears? <laughs> One can only hope. Man, so we have a VR headset, and pre-cats, I played a lot of... Um, Beat Saber is super fun, but especially I got very into I, the I Expect You to Die series. Um and I Expected You to Die 3 came out, I want to say, in September of last year. And I didn't get very far by literally, I mean, I didn't get through. Oh, yes, the second apple. Come on, Fruit Cave. Help me out, man. I didn't even get through, like, the tutorial part of the first level. Um, oh, shoot. I got to go get my pickaxe. Um, but one of my favorite running jokes in the I Expect You to Die series is the uh, Archer Bear. It's just there's there's whenever they can they put in this big animatronic bear that shoots you with arrows and it is just so ridiculous and so funny and and it's just that kind of thing that shows the the little bit of care that that people are paying when they develop this game 
So if you if you have access to a VR headset and you're looking for games, I Expect You to Die is great. It's a escape room, basically. It's sort of just a VR escape room more than anything else. Ooh, broccoli seeds. I forgot it was broccoli season. It turns out that video games are made by human beings with personalities and senses of humor. Yeah. Who'd have thought? I mean, not every game feels like it. <laughs> yeah, there's a point at which all of all personality and uh, sense of humor has been uh, sterilized yeah. out of it. I get the feeling the team behind I Expect You to Die is reasonably small and still sort of in touch with their humanity. <laughs> yep. Alright, he found the furniture box. Dropping in some paintings. I also really like I Expect You to Die because I am extremely in real life um, susceptible to motion sickness <laughs> and I Expect You to Die is, is one of the handful of VR games that doesn't trigger any motion sickness for me. Very occasionally the, like at the end of a level you will sort of in game move your whole like body but most of the time I Expect You to Die is, is a pretty seated not just seated in real life but seated in the game experience. Um, Where would you like pumpkin seeds? Um... Uh, the fall red box. I'm gonna lose this fish. Burgundy box. I would say you can plant them, but that seems like asking yeah, too much. That's for you. The, yeah, that's. Are you the, trying to do some sort of like speed run challenge where you have a zero in farming? <laughs> you have zero XP, not just a level zero, but okay, that was um, depressing. Yeah, let's, let's see. What's my? Where's my level skills? Here we go. Yeah, I still have. <laughs> I am still level zero in farming. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> let's see. Four mining, three foraging, ten fishing. Yep. Which we got on like episode two. Yeah. And then uh, five combat. I bet your combat will come up. Come up pretty quick there for you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else is there to do around here. I placed, I wasn't paying attention to where I placed this, uh, the singing stone. That's mm. what it's called, apparently. I need to place this someplace obnoxious. The green one? Yeah, the place I, the place I absentmindedly put it was not <laughs> obnoxious enough. <laughs> you mean you weren't just naturally obnoxious? Oh, bye. <laughs> Weird, I know. <laughs> um, where's a? Can I? There it is. All right. Middle of nowhere. The center of everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna move this crab pot. Go for it. It's not picking up the garbage I thought it would. It's kind of surprising. Yeah. I guess we just don't have enough garbage in our lake. Yeah. Sounds like a problem for me. Alright. Shmeeple. We, uh, we opened up, in our previous break, we opened the uh, windows upstairs a crack so the cats can get some fresh air. And uh, they uh, they love fresh air quite a lot in and a way get... that like they're going bonkers up there. <laughs> yeah, they're they're being quite quite noisy and rambunctious up there right hear now. Hear them through the floor. <laughs> yep, they are they are powerfully digging the uh, the fresh air right now. <laughs> sometimes too much. Sometimes to like a, oh my god, please just calm down kind of way. <laughs> On the plus side, they'll sleep real good tonight. I sure hope so. All right, what am I doing? Oh, I need to put plant these pumpkin seeds. And then hopefully making another sprinkler. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, it's crab pot in the ocean time. Whee! Hopefully it'll actually do something for us. Wee! Extra wee. Oh. All right. Ooh, a pomegranate. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> it's big news, I promise. <laughs> it's a big deal. It's the most excited anyone's ever sounded about <laughs> finding a pomegranate. <laughs> Listen, the fact that I don't have to wait another year for a pomegranate tree to grow, it's <laughs> a big deal. This is the thing. I know that the mushroom cave, everybody says that the mushroom cave is better. I didn't like, notice you fixed the bridge. I did, yes. Because there were purple sea urchins over there that I knew that I wanted. <laughs> Everybody says the mushroom cave is better, which probably for long term 
money, I'm sure it is. But like getting fruit from the cave instead of having to wait for your fruit trees to A, grow and B, be in the right season. Like I really just prefer to get the fruit out of the cave. <laughs> And a lot of the game, there's a lot of ways to undo a lot of your decisions. Like if you, you can go to Krobus or whatever lives in Krobus's house with him for things like changing your appearance and changing your profession. Like if you decide you want to change whatever combat thing you just picked, mm -hmm. there's a mechanism for that. But I don't know if there's a mechanism for the thing that I was talking about half a sentence ago. What was I saying? Uh, Pomegranate. Oh, yes, the mushroom cave versus... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow. That was some impressive brain, brain fart farting we, I just did. We, uh, we woke up early this morning for... We woke um, up <laughs> early, and I can hear Maple yelling upstairs, and, and it's marginally distracting. <laughs> Woof. Our, I'm doing great, you guys. Our, uh, our concentration is uh, waning slightly. It's kind of hard to stream and talk at the, to play and talk at the same time. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? It is hard to stream and talk at the same time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See, that may just be you thinking that I'm bad at streaming, but in fact, I'm just bad at talking generally. <laughs> it can be both. <laughs> like, she must be more articulate in person. Guess what? <laughs> I'm not. And bedtime. Look at you being all responsible with your bedtime. Well, I had to... There were chores that necessitated me not mining. Mm. So I just ran out of stuff to do. Yep. A thousand money for... <laughs> just just one bass. I don't know where that bass came from. It was mine. Oh, hooray. Well fished. Thank you. Well fush. <laughs> Rain? Nope. Nope. Unless it's just really, really white rain. Nope. No rain tomorrow either. Did you uh, convene with the prognosticator about I, the rain situation? I checked the t the weather on the TV. Oh. <laughs> Which is again a thing that Dave barely understands. <laughs> is a function of the game. <laughs> Maple's bowl is bone dry. I filled it. I actually do it. a better job of filling Maple's bowl than actually petting <laughs> them, weirdly. Eggplant. All right. Off to check on the chickens that I may or may not have. Oh, the barn's ready. Ew, and it's a Sunday, which means Marnie might actually be at her stupid job. Floor one hundo. Floor one hundo. I guess, strictly speaking, floor one hundo point and and one. <laughs> one hundo and one. <laughs> ding. Ding. I made a ding happen. Yay. I got a purple mushroom. <gasps> Very exciting. I made a purple mushroom happen. I mean, honestly, hang on to that. It's really good food if you need it. Yeah. Uh, I got some fire quartz, too. Ooh, nice. I got your fire quartz right here for you. Uh, currently, and that's not really. There's just regular quartz and fire quartz still both turned into refined quartz, so hmm. it's currently not all that needed. But although it does really more sound like you're threatening me with fire quartz <laughs> than offering me the fire quartz, which is an interesting tone to take. <laughs> just because I yelled at you about the blue bin. <laughs> yes. This is my comeuppance. So you admit mm, I, you did take that tone with me. I did not. You're. This is. Punishment for you thinking I took a tone with you. <laughs> Come on, fish. I fished! We. That's my first salmon. Ooh. And I earned the fisherman achievement. I got a diamond. Ooh. And lots of gold ore. Technically, the diamond can be donated to the museum. Or we can wait till we get a crystallarium and then start duplicating. Yeah, I guess hang on to it until we can duplicate it. That's what I'm saying. It's level nine something. You get a crystallarium. I don't know if it's mining or fishing, or it's probably not fishing, or you would have it already. <laughs> I mean, I might. I, don't, I haven't been paying attention okay. to the recipes I've been Maybe collecting. Maybe take a look at your, at your craft menu and see if <laughs> crystallarium is something you can make already. It might be fishing, in which case I'm still only on like level six or seven fishing. I can make a fishalarium. 
where you duplicate fish. You put in a fish and more fish come out. I've been carrying around my second fishing pole this whole time. I'm good at Stardew Valley. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm in the mines with a watering can and a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> We're smart. <laughs> wow, cows are pretty cheap. All right, so I'm gonna name our cow. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Okay. Then, okay. Well, okay. The, the the random generation will be fine, I suppose. No, well, I already deleted it. Oh, okay. Butts um, and pants are our chickens. Shirt? Um, crotch? That's actually weirdly close to the, the original one was gracha. <laughs> so I'm going to put crotcha. Great. I'll send little crotcha to her new home right away. <laughs> totally normal thing to name a... I like how the cow costs fifteen hundred dollars, and the pail to milk the cow costs a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I bought all the stuff I'm gonna need for animals for a while. Well, it looks like a lot of money, but stuff you pretty much need to buy. So, got it all taken care of at once. The red mist. Red uh -oh. mist is descending. Be careful. Hey, all right, got a ladder. Nice. I love ladder. <laughs> I'm very proud of you and your ladder. Ooh, I got two ladders. More ladders than I can shake a ladder at. <laughs> Let's see. Have I gotten a jade before? Peace. Ooh, there we go. Don't sing, don't sing, don't sing. I already said hi to the chickens, but... No they... joy allowed. Well, listening to... I'm not a terribly gifted singer. <laughs> it's joyful for me. It's probably less joyful for other people. Ooh, heck yeah. Early ladder. Hooray! Good job. It's only... It's barely past noon, even. Oh, I gotta put hay back Ooh, in. another really. ladder. Heck. Heck, and gosh. You're making progress. Pardon my French. <laughs> Just so excited by all of your progress. Pardon my Flemish. <laughs> Not quite French, but close enough. Be... 105. You're doing it, man. Uh... You are achieving your goals. Weird, I know. <laughs> How's my inventory looking? Alright, I still got a whole row. Of? Of empty space. <laughs> I was thinking about making a fish joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't quite get the bat off my shoulder. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> eee, ooh. I just got cups of coffee for you to take into the mines with you. Wahoo! Make you go fast. Make me vibrate through the next five floors. Yep. Donating some jade. I'm such a selfless person. <laughs> the song that they play in the museum is nice and it doesn't last very long. Like, I don't just hang out in the museum. Well, guess I'm going fishing. Where? Uh, in the water. Like outside the mines? Oh, well, right now I'm just depositing all of my, uh, all of my goods that I done got. Oh, are you home already? Yeah. We must have just missed each other. Oh, we have three diamonds in the huh. in the diamond box. Do any of them still say Gunther will tell you about this? Yeah. All right, I'll go deliver a diamond to the to the Gunther house. If you, if you have more than one, it's the it's the public good thing to do. <laughs> hey, a woodpecker. Is that new? No. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> I think the possum is the only one that. I, I haven't seen before, but again, I shouldn't assume that means it's new. I might have also just never seen the pot. But the fact that you and I both saw a possum in this, in my new save and your new save, means that's probably new. 
Does uh, the Gunta house close at five by any chance? Mm, yes. Oh God. Does he make it? Put I'm, your bets in now. I'm inside the building anyway. Do I talk to him or how do yes. I? Oh. Eh. Don't go anywhere. Did it work? Stay right there. Donate. Wahoo! It worked! No, okay. Now I have to put it someplace. Put uh, it with the things that are similarly colored as best you can. Jade it is. Mm. I put it in the thing. Thank you. The thing place with the colors. I appreciate that. Do I get a... Nope, I don't. End. I gave you an enormous diamond <laughs> and I don't get any reward for that. Rewards are just based on how many things you've donated. It doesn't matter how individually valuable they are. Diamond Ooh, the size jelly. of the man's face. <laughs> Won't even give me like a coupon for a free admittance or anything. Admittedly, the scale is a little off. <laughs> I went fishing. I went fishing and you donated stuff to the to the museum. <laughs> Who even are we? What universe is this? We've switched peop we've switched places. Ooh, there was a mushroom hiding behind this tree. Yoink. Okay, I have let's see what other what other tasty eats you've put in the box for me? Mmm, some wheat! <laughs> I mean, I have some mayonnaise for you. If you'd rather eat that than, <laughs> than wheat. <laughs> the wheat is kind of just because I ran out of room. Do you just want some fish, too? Is that just helpful? It's fine, you can sell the fish. Okay. The fish will produce for us many lukes. I'm pretty sure I get my uh, fishing XP regardless of what happens to the fish next, so. <laughs> Truly, speaking of switching bodies, it's 740. It's just, if you can't fish, you just don't even want to be awake anymore. Yeah, what's even the point? I'm like, fine, I'll go to, if you won't let me fish anymore, I'll just go to bed. <laughs> I'll be in my room. <laughs> Not needing that. So many mushrooms. Eight twenty. Went to bed before Schmaple even. Yay! Oop! Smacking the microphone like a professional. <laughs> I'm making all kinds of good noises. Yeah. We uh we tend to run the dishwasher right when we are about to go to bed. And last night we ran it. We started it like two hours early because we were running it in an attempt to kill all the ants in it. And we we were pretty sure that the cats were confused for a second. <laughs> Just looking at us like you turned on the big sleepy white noise box, but you're not going to bed. What's the matter yeah, with you? They were standing in the kitchen, sort of just staring back at us because <laughs> they truly expected it to be bedtime, and it wasn't. Nobody knew what to do about that. I got a big pink cake. Yay! I should have probably paid attention to who sent that to us, but I think it was Haley. <laughs> It's blackberry season right now. Do you know where Linus's blackberry bush is? Or blackberry basket? Nope. I don't know where blackberries are. Well. I don't, I, I, I know how to fish and go walking in the big hole. Well, finding the blackberries is mostly just like wandering the map. Is this a blackberry? It was. I found a blackberry on a big plant. Congratulations. It was a plant the size of a large plant. All right, where are you? I am in the mines. Oh, wow, you didn't waste any time. <laughs> nope. Floor 105. Well, you might make it to 120, depending on your luck, basically. Whoa, okay. Some Did you sort die? Of, <laughs> there's a floating, fire-breathing orb-type enemy. In these? Really? Uh-huh. Interesting. Are you still alive? Yup. <laughs> I am alive and quite confused. That's new. Ooh, I got a monster compendium. Ooh, that's very good. It lists all the flavors. <laughs> Alright, let's drop a this is a this is a prime spot for some bomb dropping. Murder some stuff. Hey, alright, and we got a 
We got a we got a ladder. We found a ladder Yay. hiding under a rock. Any more valuables happening around here? We'll never know. <laughs> Running away. 106. Alright, so for animals I need large milk, large goat milk, wool, or duck egg. I think the idea is to upgrade the if you upgrade the coop you can get a rabbit, and rabbits give both wool and a rabbit's foot eventually. They like like rabbits often do, they yep. molt feet their, regularly. Their feet just fall off. No worries. It's just a thing that happens to rabbits. All right, upgrading a coop. What is the damage on that? Hopefully less than 11,445 money. Just barely. <laughs> and also 400 wood and 150 stone. 150 stone is my favorite Bush album. I don't get that reference. Their first album is called 16 stone. Aha. And their 134th album is called <laughs> 150 Stone. <laughs> Quick uh, math. Very good. The cornerstone of humor is being able to crunch numbers. Yep. Numbers are funny. Everyone knows this. Why would you even argue that? Yawning on the mic like a pro. Oh, yeah. Woo! We're tired old people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. It'll happen to you. <laughs> yeah. Viewer. 19-year-old viewers. <laughs> I like the idea of there being, like, a 78-year-old watching the stream and be like, well, fine. <laughs> you say so. Did I need that aquamarine? I should maybe take that back. That's something I can <clears throat> how, use. how do you pronounce that word? Aquamarine. Thank you. Okay, I don't think I need it for anything. So we'll just get money. Alright, time to drop some bombs. Where's a good bomb dropping spot? That's Let's looking see. okay. I just didn't put the eggs in the mayonnaise makers, I guess. Ooh, we'll drop it right here. And then we'll run! Bye! Aw, Cracha looks really happy today. <laughs> <laughs> happy for Cracha. I'm glad. Pity. No, uh, no ladder. No. I can probably afford to spend one bomb per floor. If it comes up dry, it comes up dry. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I already don't remember how much wood and um, stone I needed for the thing. I think you said 400 wood. <laughs> 400 wood and 150 stone, I think. So stone's actually fine. So I'm just going to chop down trees for a while. I was watching your uh, mic levels. Uh, while I was coughing with my mic muted, yes. and your microphone definitely picked up my cough. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, it's your my fault. Your your sitting. You, you are a highly acoustically reflective surface, <laughs> and you're sitting in just the right angle. And I'm also an acoustical engineer. Mm. Fiddlehead fern tree. Bang. Okay, this floor, this this spelunkin' adventure today is going more slowly. Here we go. Found a ladder. Slow is fine. Are you health reasonably healthy and energized still? Reasonably. And do you have anything with you to help? I can drink some hot mayo. Hey, there you go. Some hot mayo action. Again, for the record, Concerned Ape did not add the hot part. <laughs> that is entirely a Dave invention. That is a Dave original right In case there. anybody out there is like, ew, that's, why is it hot? It's not. It's, it's hot just, because I say so. Dave would just like it to be. He just thinks it's funnier. I keep getting these uh, Morrowind scrolls. 
the dwarf scrolls. Yep, dwarf scroll three in particular. Yeah, the pro- I'm still missing one on my upstairs save, and it's annoying that like you can get six or seven of one color and still not have the one that you need. Okay, I almost died, but it's fine. You're fine. Much. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have some of your uh, autumn bounty thingy. Do it. I don't know who Autumn is, but I'm gonna take her bounty. <laughs> Why am I- I don't- I need wood, not stone. Just knocking down what's in front of me, I guess. Ooh, I got an immunity band. Ooh. 383. Almost. What does the immunity band do? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> it gives you like two two points of invincibility. I don't know how points of invincibility work. There's a description. Read what it says. <laughs> I don't know how to read. <laughs> Not that you don't know how to read item descriptions. You just don't know how to read, period. Yeah, nope. I'm s we're just shocked that hasn't come up before now. I, I, I was sick that day in school. <laughs> That single day. I was gonna say, reading. if only teaching, learning to read was a one day event. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's real important that you come to work, that you come to school this one day. Promise. <laughs> it'll it'll matter. I swear. Oh, is this another spiral floor? Sorry. Or... No, it might not be. It might just be big. I'm almost out of energy. It is 6 p.m. I'm almost out of... I'm almost out of time. It is 6 p.m. Tomorrow, I'm um, upgrading the coop. And we are going to have about $2,000 when that's over. <laughs> yeah. Probably not even enough to afford the rabbit that goes in the coop. <laughs> Actually, I, can't, I think it's ducks first and then rabbits after that. We're a long way away. We're a long way away. All right, I broke my own rule that I devised mere minutes ago and the used the second. Yep, <laughs> use the second one, and that one didn't work either. Push came to shove, huh? Yep. Much push, very shove. <laughs> hey, there it is, one ten. Nice, digging it. Progress Calling made. It for the day. And I got my space boots. Woo! My sp boots. <laughs> Let's see, what do they do for me? Four defense, four immunity. That's better than the whatever I was wearing. Fire there you walker. go. Uh, what else did I get? The immunity band. Plus four immunity. I don't know what the difference between immunity and, like, defense is. I assume the higher immunity makes poison tick oh. faster. Or maybe, or, yeah, some, it's poison related, probably. That's very smart. Um, do I want to... I think I, uh, I'll contemplate that in some place where I won't get punished for passing out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We call that self-care. <laughs> yeah. Finding a safe place to look at stuff where you won't get passed out and then mugged. <sighs> Only got ten more floors in the mine, evidently. Woo! You've made so much mining progress. Wahoo. I appreciate that you're doing that and not just continuing to fish. <laughs> I'm just on floor obstinately. 69 over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, that too. <laughs> that too, I suppose. Um, oh, I should probably... I'm gonna... <clears throat> I got the monster compendium apparently means monsters, if I read the book, uh, have... Double the chance of dropping loot. Ooh, fun. So I should probably read that. Yay! I learned a new power. Love that. Love that for you. I learned the power of making monsters have more stuff in their pockets than <laughs> they did before. Totally makes sense to get that power from a book. Yeah. Knowledge is power and whatnot. That's true. I heard that. <laughs> Probably from a person just trying to sell you some knowledge. <laughs> Stupid educators. <laughs> Who do they think they are? Teachers are always in it for themselves. <laughs> so selfish. <laughs> Come 
Come on. I, I was going to say, come on, rain day. I did check the weather, but I don't know how many days ago that was. <laughs> Time really doesn't make sense here in Stardew Valley. Time has no meaning anymore. It's very confusing. Nope. <laughs> it's a bright, sun, rainy day. It'll be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Mm. But it's okay, because I have a letter. Dear Gadave, Stardew Valley Fair, biggest event, country, Grange, showcase, display, 9 a.m. Lewis. Those seem like the most important words. Yeah. I think there is a reason to do the Grange. Do you win something? What do you win? Do you win something useful? I Garbage hat? I don't think so. Oh. That sure would be useful. I don't think it would be useful so much as you just think it would be funny. Potato, tomato. <laughs> Okie doke. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go to the mine. <clears throat> I think I want to donate this bottle of wine to the community center. Bye! How Get out of my me? way! How did you going faster than me? Oh, did you want... Hey, come back. Nom, nom, nom. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Slurp, slurp, slurp. And here's a second. Slurp. And my here's the last one. Mmm, cold coffee. And no, it's hot coffee. <laughs> no, it's hot mayo and it's yeah, cold coffee. Oh, God. Hot mayo and cold coffee, cold pizza. Dave eats everything at the wrong temperature. <laughs> hey, now, the only, the, the only wrong temperature for pizza is tepid. That's fair. Hot pizza is great. Cold pizza is great. It's the tepid pizza. You don't it's like the, lukewarm pizza? Yeah. That's that's a party foul right there. That's fair. Alright, I have a uh, sneaking suspicion that I'm going to die a lot. <laughs> it's just the last ten, last ten levels. What am I? Wine, that's right. Here we go. Here we go. A wine donating. Blammo. Alright, got a... Got a thing. And I'm gonna use it. We're just gonna speedrun the mines here. I don't want to spend more time around here than I gotta. Are you speedrunning with staircases? Well, not literally. But okay. I'm, just, well, I'm, I'm finding a ladder and I'm immediately using it. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No shame, on, no shame there. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm actually mining for like a thing, I forget that I'm mining for a thing. Oh, stupid Robin's not at work today. <laughs> and I just like, ooh, ladder. And I go down. I'm like, wait, I've done this. Because <laughs> the point is to get an, a, a thing, not just to get down as many floors as possible. But for 120 floors, you're very focused on floors. <laughs> hey, small carnivore. Small carnivore. Welcome to the stream. We're getting punchy and sleepy. <laughs> We're glad you're here. I'm in the mines, risking my life. I'm just trying to keep the farm running. <laughs> I stopped fishing. I started spelunking. Yep. Oh, well. God. So I was thinking at one point during a break today of what I was going to, something else I wanted to talk about, which is all my favorite just tiny tiny 1.6 changes like sure new festivals and and all that and i think my two favorite things oh, are the red mist is descending my two favorite things are on screen right now the one favorite thing is the waterfalls and my second favorite thing is that jam and jelly and wine is now color coded colored based on the thing that you put like look how pretty look how pretty everything is <laughs> Every single color here is pretty. This is spice berry, and this is peach, I think. And this is... Is it blueberry? Blackberry. And then plum. No, grape. It's just so pretty. And, and it's purple. You can make stuff pretty and purple. Purple. As soon, purple. As soon as he announced that that was going to be one of the changes, somebody was like, can you please make an, a mechanic for, like, shelves so that we can put all of our beautifully colored, like, make a rainbow color, like a rainbow display. And I feel like he's he might <laughs> do that for us. <laughs> because a lot of us really, 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 really want, like, now that we have beautiful colors, we can't do anything with them. You know, putting them in a chest is boring. 
especially the blackberry color is really pretty. And yes, not so yeah, it's not just that now like the wine and the jam is this is a color. It used to be that wine and juice and then jelly and pickled whatever were just the same the same design but slightly different colors since all the wine is now a different color the juice and the pickles are now just a different are also a different design so it went from having basically two different things you could harvest to like eight don't check that math just run with me on that <laughs> but yeah it's, it's really the cool. internet you don't need to fact check anybody that's right i'm right everyone on the internet is always right all the time but yeah just i mean just look at the colors that are so pretty <laughs> Ugh. Is my inventory full? No, Different shades of purple. It's just gorgeous. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, I'm going to go get some more seeds. 114. Yeah, I think maybe Concerned Ape didn't realize how pretty the new stuff would be. And yes, it should be easier to display. 115. You got this, honey. I got some good ladder luck on that one. Woo! Yeah, there's a person by the bus. Is it Pam? What does Pam look like? Oh, Pam's the bus driver. She shouldn't be there yet. This is apparently Abigail. Ah. Uh. Her text got skipped somehow by somebody. <laughs> I don't know how, so I don't know what she said. By somebody? Dono. You don't think you don't know who that was? Nope. No idea. I was talking to Dave earlier today about I I don't generally mod, partially because it's just easier to leave stuff alone. But I, I saw you suddenly run into my screen and I panicked. I was like, "Oh my god, it's a mine enemy!" Hello. Must must sword attack. Please don't attack me. <laughs> um, I I don't I haven't done much any modding in Stardew. Um, but in my upstairs save, the mythical upstairs save that I always talk about. Very real. Um, Definitely a real thing that's happening upstairs. Hey. <laughs> I could quit this right now <laughs> and show them my upstairs save. Don't make me. Um, but I'm starting to get to the point where I'm stressed about how much time, how quickly time passes. And like, there's fun exploring stuff to do. And I open Ginger Island and I want to go there. And it's just too hard to get it all done. So Dave tells me that there's a mod that he installed in his first playthrough where... Uh, eventually, anyway. Where you can just pause time. Yep. So, yeah, I, I may play around with that because it's just... I'm having to... It's too fun to be stressed. And, like, I think high level, if there's anything that this game doesn't want, it's for you to be <laughs> overstressed and not having fun with it. Yeah, there's you get to a point where just maintaining your farm takes an entire day and you don't get to do anything else. Yeah. So once you get to that point, installing the uh, time stop whenever you want mod is uh, a pretty good way to recapture the fun that gets lost a little bit as your the far the size of your farm increases. And like maybe the responsible thing is like downsize your farm and not be so greedy and making money, but it's kind of the game is sort of set up to want to do that as quickly as possible, so. I don't know. Sometimes I feel a similar, like, it's not it's not the real way to play it when we watch speedrunning as well, and, and I've managed to make my peace with that, so. Like, glitchy speedrunning. Not so much just very competent speedrunning. That's not cheating, but... Play the way that you have fun. Yes. At least in, you know, single-player experiences, anyway. <laughs> if you're playing with random people on the internet, having Don't. a whole host of cheats installed is probably... <laughs> Maybe you're having a good time, but then that's at the expense of somebody else's time. Yes. I totally forgot that I was doing a quest for Robin where I collected 30 stone, and now that I'm mining some stone, there's a UI that's like, Hey, you got 7 out of 30 stone. Oh, right. That have to be today. Two days. Hot diggity. And I probably brought home some stone. Well, it counts. I brought home 101 stone. Hey. Or there's at least 101 in there right now, anyway. That's awesome. It requires you to actually harvest it. It's counting the harvesting, but. Oh, oh yeah, that. How come he hasn't fixed that yet? <laughs> When's the 1.7 where that's fixed? <laughs> there's actually a new PC patch coming out sometime this week, I think. Ooh. 
And do you know what? There's something in it that's fishing related because he is just continuing to force people to enjoy new fishing content. <laughs> he's, he's just trying to make fishing interesting for those who don't like it, quote yeah. unquote. He's just going to keep doing it. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to keep, quote, improving this until you, quote, like it. <laughs> yeah. And I bet, he, I bet you flinch first. <laughs> <laughs> This is good content. Just watching me chop down trees and chop up rocks. I'm gonna run out of energy soon-ish, so I'll Hooray. come to bed. Could move the game along. Bang. I am A-OK -okay with uh, watching you pass out in the woods. That is, that's good content right there. I have so much energy before I pass out. <laughs> All right, that's probably fine. Can't believe you wouldn't come get me if I passed out in the woods. <laughs> You're, I mean... You so. passed out next to the bed once and I didn't even help you. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm, he looks like he deserved that. I was talking, we were, I was going to talk about how yesterday you told me, oh, I think I'm going to, it's nice outside. I think I'm going to walk to the hardware store. <laughs> I was like, uh, do you know how far? Okay. The I may have <laughs> underestimated how far the hardware store actually is from our house. It's, I know we live in a small town, but it's still the other side of town. <laughs> I mean, it's not, oh, that's the wrong house. Oh, you made it symmetrical. Yeah, it's so, sorry. It's so pretty. Um, it's not the other side of town. We live basically in the middle of town and it's on the <laughs> all, far end. All sides of town are the other side of town when you live in the middle. Yeah. Uh, in my mind, it was just on the other side of the quick trip. And in fact, it's like probably a solid mile past the quick trip. It's just <laughs> that we never use anything other than the quick trip and the hardware store on that side of town. <laughs> it was, it was definitely not going to be the, uh, the quick jaunt that literally there's it there's like highway and no sidewalks before yeah. <laughs> you get to the hardware store i did not i did not do that the thing is i i walk to the piggly wiggly sometimes like i literally walked to the piggly wiggly today uh and that's what i said that's what i said to dave is that um oh no there we go. It's it's time. Oh, so it is. Yep. Uh, we're gonna take our third and final break of the day. If Azira, I'm just sorry to interrupt your thought, but this is just it was it convenient. Is time. You're right. Yep. Um, we're gonna take our third and final break of the uh, stream today. Um, if this is your first time here, this is very much what we do. We have nice, relaxed, comfy, cozy times with nice and chill games if that sounds like your bag i recommend a like follow subscribe etc it's fast and free and it'll keep you connected for our future comfy shenanigans um when we come back we're gonna keep on keeping on i'm gonna i think we're gonna hit floor 120 here on the on the mines maybe even 121 oh good luck with that oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, be back in just a little bit. Enjoy the kitten photos while we're away. We'll be right back. Hang tight.
Hey everybody, we are back. Thank you for waiting as we are back for this, the fourth and final hour of today's broadcast. Too bad, so sad. All good things must come to an end, but not just yet. We've still got one more hour together, so let's make it a good one, shall we? And yes. We'll, uh, <laughs> also, my wife is still here. You asked me a question. I thought I had to answer it. I thought that was a setup. <laughs> uh, was speak, uh, speaking of setup, uh -uh. You, before we uh, before we went on break, you were telling an amusing anecdote about <laughs> IKEA, and then some fat dumb person interrupted you to to to, to stop break the stream. I am absolutely going to uh, push back on the characterization of it as an amusing anecdote. Um, that's <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was I was expecting you to push back on the fat dumb person thing, but okay, that's fine. Hey, too. you did it to yourself. Yep, yeah, I uh, I did become be make myself be fat and dumb. <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> I was simply going to joke that Dave and I are both originally from Chicagoland, and without getting too specific, we now live in a part of Wisconsin. And interestingly, the closest IKEA to us is still the IKEA in Chicagoland. <laughs> yep. Like Dave has been known to drive three and a half to four hours each way to get to the Ikea in Schaumburg, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, we, because we it is to, simply the closest <clears throat> Ikea to where we still live. We used to live pretty much smack dab in the middle between the Schaumburg Ikea and the uh, Bolingbrook Ikea. So we could sort of take our pick mm -hmm. of which Ikea we wanted to go to in any given time, which was uh, just imagine the luxury now. Yeah, the, the privilege of being in a big city. <laughs> yep. And now we the, the Schaumburg Ikea is still the closest Ikea, <laughs> even though we've moved several hours away. Yeah. So that's, it's, uh, you got to really want it. <laughs> we, we, we very much enjoy our, uh, our rural lifestyle up here but little things like it takes three and a half hours to get to an ikea yep does, uh, that is a difference in lifestyle yep still a baby yes metropolitan chicagoland has two ikeas to choose from it is ridiculously luxurious at one point uh when i was going to grad school which i guess i can say was at michigan state uh I needed a new bed as part of that move, and so my parents drove to the Detroit IKEA, which was <laughs> almost as far away from East Lansing as if they had just driven back to Schaumburg. <laughs> I don't think we did the math on that when we were like, oh, we'll just go to Detroit to pick it up from that IKEA. Like, <laughs> it's not actually that much closer. We could have just gotten it in Schaumburg on the way out of town. Yep. Oh well, lesson learned, I guess. I'm on floor 18, and there's a minecart in here. Floor 118. It's probably just full of coal. If you interact with it, it'll give you coal, but it's not going to take you anywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, darn, I was hoping for a fun amusement park style kind of ride. I wish. Ooh, another early ladder. All right, I'm, I'm digging it in floor 119. We're almost there. I'm liking the whole... Oof. 119 business here and it looks it's looking like a small floor too you got this 
Uh, okay, it's a bigger floor than it looked. <laughs> let's uh, let's not die though. Dying would be bad. Please don't die on 119. We'll just start the day over. <laughs> it's not even noon yet. We'll just give up and drag in. <laughs> we'll redo today. I've only got one bomb. Oh, but I've also got a staircase. Oh, should there I, you go. Should I use the staircase? 119 on the... is a perfectly val <laughs> legitimate place to use a staircase, especially if you feel like you might die. Ba -ba -da -ba. Floor 120. Woo woo! Wahoo. You did the thing. Bottom O the mines. Get your rusty, get your skeleton key or whatever. Yeah. You found the skull key. There it is. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. I know what it's for. What's it for? It's to get into the skull caverns on the desert. Ah, uh, that's where the the skull caverns are. Okay. Yep. I kept... I, <laughs> you have such a patchwork understanding of this game. It amuses me every time. It's, <laughs> Here's a new thing that Dave barely remembers. I, I cleared five new floors of the mines and the, the Adventurer's Guild isn't even open yet. That's very impressive. Um, I, I remember... You, you, so you've been talking a lot recently about skull caverns and i remember doing skull caverns in my og playthrough mm -hmm. some years ago but you just didn't remember how it all connected couldn't tell you where on earth the, the caverns were so small carnivore you get the sewer key after you donate a certain number of artifacts here to the museum it is not apparently it is a larger number than the number of artifacts that i have donated here uh where is the pay? Oh, it's way over here. So interestingly, Dave's skull key shows up for me, so we share that. And I guess you did the you read the monster compendium though, right? So we don't share that. That's really mm. interesting. It's in I the some of the intricacies of multiplayer are still still elude me. What all we share, and I think it's weird that if I donate, that I, we only have to donate stuff once. But then we both get rewards. <laughs> like, that seems strange. I would understand if, like... I guess it would be weird if we had to donate the same thing twice. But it would... I don't know why they don't, we should just get the rewards once then. But. The uh, Lava Katana is Ooh. for sale. And uh, quite... Uh, quite pricey. It's only 25,000 money. Woo! That's a little bit outside of our uh, budget at the moment. Yep. Our budget of $4,209. <laughs> so sorry to tell you. We do not have that kind of cash right now. You mean I... that the 25,000 money required is a bigger number than the amount of money we have currently? I hate to break it to you, but yeah. Pity and shame and blast. Yep. Ooh, but there is a uh, frenzy fish bub over here. Do it. <laughs> I like how you finish the mine and immediately go back to fishing. <laughs> well, I guess I've done all I can do here. I'm going to go fishing. Yep. Time to fish, my dudes. I think you can, uh, you yourself can go through uh, all of the floors that are a multiple of 10 and pick up all of your rewards that uh, I unlocked for you. That's Nice. Is it mostly boots? It's a lot of boots, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very boot. It's primarily boot themed. <laughs> well, might as well. If nothing else, you can sell them. It does occur to me that we might have actually a better, I mean, uh, a better chance at the skull caverns if we're working together. Like once we're both, um, cooperating. Cooperating in a, in a co-op run. What is, what is this madness? If you mean instead of just the vaguely simultaneous <laughs> games of Stardew that we're playing now? <laughs> sort of just gently connected. <laughs> the you are we are able to influence each other's maps. Yeah. There we go. Master slingshot. Ooh, that was a that was an irradiated bullhead I caught. Ooh. Firewalker boots. Your boots with the fur. 
Ooh, obsidian edge. E. Nice. I got a star drop. Aw. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I guess that it, that was definitely worth it. That was probably a, a thing what should have been picked up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're professional streamers. <laughs> professional Stardew streamers here. <laughs> Woof. Genius level. There's just a single carp in, in the Dave bucket here. How did this get here? I probably fished it and just decided to give it to you. Err and growl. Journal updated. I didn't get anything for it, though. Oh, I gotta go talk to Robin. It's late. Is she gonna talk to me? Where's Robin? Thankfully, I don't need to do it in her shop. I think I just need to track her down. Which I imagine if I just wander between the bar and her house, I will track her down. <laughs> Just stand directly in between those two points and you'll you'll find yep. her eventually. It's an interesting definition of the word fun. <laughs> but yes, that is uh, <laughs> one of those things where you'd think like, oh, we haven't executed anybody with a guillotine in 280 years. Like, nope. <laughs> Although also it's kind of depressing that I still kind of think of Star Wars as coming out 35, 40 years ago and it's 87, 97, 07, 17. Okay, it's like approaching 50, I guess. Don't do the math. I know, it's rough. Ugh, I did the math the other day on how long uh <laughs> Coca-Cola is 31 younger 31 years younger than Italy. Okay, that's that's that, <laughs> That's wild. All right. <laughs> Uh, one of my tutors was watching Grey's Anatomy on their phone and I and we were joking about how long the show has been on and I had to admit that it came out the year I started college <laughs> and every time somebody's like oh my god Grey's Anatomy has been on for so many years it just makes me feel old <laughs> because I can connect that to how old I am in a very visceral crypt keeper kind of way all right, Robin, where are you? Did I miss you? Because I just forgot to go find you. I just knock on her door like, I have your stuff. I have the rocks that you wanted. Oh, I can only put a decorative pitchfork on a wall, apparently. Yeah, sorry. Well, if I put it here, it looks like it's sort of on the floor. Robin, come home. I gave you rocks. Oh, no, that'll, hey, that's not... Mm. <laughs> It visually it looks like it's gonna be in one place, but when you actually plant yeah. it, it moves. How dare! I'm just gonna cut down trees in Robin's yard until she comes home and talks to me. One point seven when? It's eleven o'clock. I think Robin came home without me. Devs, please fix. <laughs> I found a bug. <laughs> it's eleven twenty. I have to go home. But I have these rocks for Robin. Oh, she just didn't know about Grey's Anatomy. She's just been not paying, not truly not watching anything for 20 years. I think even my mom watched the first season or two. Okay. <clears throat> In my head, Scrubs still only recently ended. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long that's been off of the air. Everybody just lives in their own little time travel sometimes. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that harvesting 30 rocks wasn't very tough if I had done the, like, a thousand rocks and then not gotten my reward for it at the end. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I just heard something that I was worried at the start was Maple running around the house, but I do, in fact, I think it was a, lo a very loud engine outside. <laughs> so it's probably fine. That is what Maple sounds like. <laughs> Level five mining. Do I want to be one plus or plus one or per vein? That's such a weird sentence. <laughs> plus one or per vein. Or <laughs> chance for gems to appear in pairs. Ooh. Well, we're going to... At this point, we're, gems are more money. We don't really need... Ores are not something we're as mm. deathly 
yeah. like vitally needing. Eventually, we'll just have done everything we need to do with ore. Yeah. Whereas gems are forever. Well, eventually, we're going to be getting iridium ore out of the skull cavern. And then once we get Grandpa Perfection, then it's pretty much just the Perfection Stone from then on. Hey, it's going to rain tomorrow. We guess I'll fish today. <laughs> <clears throat> I like the idea of just having a grandpa named Perfection. <laughs> this is my grandpa, Perfection. <laughs> oh, He's kind of a jerk. No, Grandpa's nice. He's a bit uptight. Grandpa's the best. <laughs> Let's put on some boots. Space boots. Spa boots. Spa boots. All right. Oh yeah, I laid down a crab pot that I forgot to check on. <laughs> again. So many clams on the beach. What the heck? It's very well. We don't. Who, who dropped all these clams? We don't forage at the beach probably as often as we ought to. <laughs> and some sandworms. Something, something dune. I was gonna say I don't know enough to do anything other <laughs> than just that. So when a crab pot has a thing, there will be an icon above it, right? Yeah weird because i planted planted quote unquote this did you crab put bait pot. in it oh <laughs> i didn't know that was a thing that'll do it yep you take a piece of an individual piece of bait like off of your fishing hook basically what i need that for fishing i don't know what to tell you man well uh we have gold I, should i make you a worm bin i think i got it i got it there we go All right. Baited. But really, we could make you a worm bin. We have gold bars now. But can we make hundreds of them? <laughs> Not at present, no. <laughs> then what's the point? <laughs> Listen, you promised me that this wouldn't be worm bins and floor torches again. <laughs> you, you promised me. I, this is just, this is, it's the Stardew thing. <laughs> It's, it's your it's, starter thing. It's the bedworm simulator. You're the weirdest person. Ooh. Frenzy bub. Frenzy fish bub. On the beach. Woo. By Philip Glass. <laughs> I imagine that's a joke that hits in a lot of circles. You, <laughs> it may not be my circle. <laughs> so sorry. It's another one of those jokes where probably... One or two audience members get that. <laughs> and to them, I say that one's just for you. Aww. Nothing better than being that person, though. <laughs> that happens on the bim, bim Bam sometimes where they tell a joke. And I'm like, yes, I get that. <laughs> it's also funny because their musical theater. And, ooh, that was close. Somebody almost saw me pull something out of the trash. Oh, that's right. I need to uh, rummage through trash to get my garbage hat. Yes. To complete my fishing hobo look. <laughs> that is true. There's also a... a like a grass hat that's the least that's the rarest hat in the whole game <laughs> but does it look like garbage <laughs> probably i mean it looks it, it doesn't make you look super put together i'll <laughs> say that <laughs> i don't think we man there's so much we haven't done well, I've, I'm level 10 fishing, I got to floor 120 in the mines, I guess I'm just gonna walk around and boop all the trash cans until one spits a lid at me. You could farm! <laughs> you could help farm! <laughs> you could you, do you, things! You, you, you got a handle on it, that's fine. I have the uh, utmost faith in you. Oh, thanks. I, I believe in you. There's you're, something, you're there's doing something great. manipulating, manipulative about this. <laughs> Just telling you you're doing a great job. So you don't have to help. <laughs> you do the, I mean, I would just be dead weight. You could at least go and you could be foraging blackberries around town. <laughs> I'm, I'm foraging, foraging trash lids. <laughs> this is going to be Dave's all day, every day now. He's just going to be <laughs> trash can hunter. Until it rains. It's going to rain tomorrow. Oh, you got in trouble. 
Am I not supposed to? You're not supposed to get caught digging through the trash. I don't care. It makes people <laughs> think worse things of you. That's fine. <laughs> they're, <sighs> they're, they're, they're digital approximations of human <laughs> beings. <laughs> Well then, what's the point of any of it? <laughs> These aren't real trees. <laughs> but they are real fish. I, honey, they're not. What? Oh no. Dave's gotta go sit in the corner now. My world is collapsing around me. Oh. Can we, uh, how do we, how do we, can we set up a, like a, a trash can farm? <laughs> Where they just reproduce. I don't. How think, do you grow a trash? I don't can? think that's a mechanic in the game. I'm very sorry. Can you grow garbage? <laughs> uh, I should probably ship at least one amaranth. Here we go. Maple is upstairs making a ruckus. Just heard a thump thump. Yep. It is <laughs> just a happy little thump thump. It is exactly 5:31. He, we are a minute late for his feeding. Well, and I gave, he knows it. I gave them treats at five o'clock yeah. on the pretense that we wouldn't be able to feed them right at right at 5:30. Cats so. always know. He's mad. They know the precise times of day where they are when they are never fed. Yep. Routinely. It is, I mean, Dave feeds them at 9.45 most evenings, and they'll be just chill, like, straight up asleep, and then he's in his office, and he can move as little as, like, stretching his arms, and the cats are just up, and they're like, what? Or is it time to, or is it feeding time? <laughs> my my elbow will pop from me yeah. standing up, and the cats will just be like, hey, get over here, I got it, food. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's time. From the deepest of sleeps. Yeah. Really, I don't think, well, interest, the cats are... are perfect and adorable and i know that i'm anthropomorphizing them here but i like to point out that sugar sleeps like dave where she naps a lot and she falls asleep fast and she's hard to wake up and maple sleeps like me where he's usually too anxious to nap and wakes up at even the slightest noise and just like wanders around the house anxiously instead of napping which is exactly how i am i will say to dave like i'm gonna go i'm tired i'm gonna go to bed early tonight he's like okay and then an hour and a half passes and i haven't gone to bed i go to bed first yeah he still beats me to bed so it's it's very cute that like the cats sort of we can ascribe personnel uh sugar and dave are good heavy nappers and maple and catherine are anxious little peanuts <laughs> who sometimes struggle to take a break oh no there's a frenzy fish bub and there's no way i can reach it in time i have my animal sounds turned off on my upstairs games to <laughs> so as to not disturb our real cats so i kind of forgot that the cow moves every time you pet it <laughs> it's a lot of mooing maple's meowing he's so mad <laughs> it is 5 34 what are you doing clearly we've lost the plot yeah he doesn't know what we're doing down here, but he's not a fan. Which is funny, because he's watching it on the TV upstairs. Yeah. We gave them extra treatums because we were going to feed them half an hour late. It's fine. Yeah. They are not. I mean, aside from the obvious fact that they've never eaten, ever. Nope. They're, they're fine. They're cats fine. have never eaten. Yep. Not one time. Like all cats. Never once. If you ask them, that's what they'll tell you. Yep. Hey, I got a chub. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> I know it's been a dream of yours. <laughs> My life has been just so bereft of chub. Oh man, remember when we went to the vet this morning? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it was 97 hours ago. <laughs> oh boy. I'm chopping trees. I'm chopping trees. I'm just walking around scraping moss off trees. There you go. Like a perfectly normal hobo does. <laughs> I'm the fish moss hobo. Once we get the barn and the coops going, then we can up start upgrading the house. Well, we'll see how far we get house upgrades. But let's see, do I have to cook something else? 
Animals. I'm, I'm going to get crops. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to cook animals? No. Can't. No meat in this. That's one of my favorite things about this game is that it is entirely, entirely vegan. Well, it's not vegan. It's vegetarian. The vegans would be mad about the dairy and the honey and stuff. But it's vegetarian. No meat in this game. Um, where have I been? I've been giving you a lot of crabs. Where did those go? <laughs> <laughs> They're in the blue bin. Okay, because those are... We're, we're, we're a crab away from completing a bundle. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, do you want to go do it, or the can I go do it? Crab pot bundle. Woo! You can do it. You sure? I, I mean, it's eight... <laughs> Is there is, is is there twenty four hour access to the? Well, um, the game is only eighteen hours total. No, twenty hours total. Two a.m. to six a.m. does not exist in the game, mm. but it is yes, it is all all access to the community center. The community center does not close. Mm. Oh shoot, bug meat. Bug meat's not vegetarian. Dang ah. it! You are correct. Get I guess hoisted. I'll, Quite a bunch of the game is is folk is murder based, <laughs> so I guess like, I mean technically it was vegetarian. We're, uh, we're and and all of the fish that I've been catching. Oh you know, shoot! They they go on to live fulfilling lives Pescatari almost certainly. Pescatarian. <laughs> shoot. Okay, never mind. Just edit that out <laughs> when you're putting the bot up. Okay, edit that out. <laughs> Just silence for the past seven minutes. <laughs> I'm too dumb to be restreamed onto the internet. <laughs> Where uh, our our blue bucket? Oh, is getting I full. see what you're saying. Bug meat, like bug meat, the the icon is revamped from when you could cook your animals. I'm glad mm -hmm. he took that out. That would be just the saddest thing. Also, it makes sense that why pigs are there to find truffles, because <laughs> in real life, pigs are pretty much just meat. <laughs> and companions. Sure. Tasty, tasty companions. Yeah, farmers love having animals as companions. <laughs> That's their favorite thing. <laughs> I have a lot of mayonnaise. Do you need it for life, or can I sell it? Oh, uh, yeah, you can sell it. Woo, money. That's a lot of money. I've got crab pots that I got for the bundle. Where do you want them? Uh, in in me. Just put them in me. Ew. <laughs> Just, I, I will devour them. Uh, crab pot. Crab pot. Offer your crab pot to good Dave. <laughs> So That's, many of these sentences out of context are just <laughs> weird. <laughs> That's just in, innuendo. Unfathomable innuendo. Dave has put his red snapper in your fish box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else I need to be? Nope, we're good. All right. We're going to sleep for the night. It's going to... Ooh, level seven foraging. Woo-woo. Wow. Ooh, it's going to... Oh. It's a rain day. A lot of farming money. I, cause I sold six mayonnaises <laughs> ah, uh. that I've been just been sitting on for a while. Two thousand dollars worth of mayonnaise, yeah. <laughs> that is, that's a lot of mayo. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So it's a, it's a, it's a rainy day in this in this the fall autumn, and Do you that pause? means tiger tiger trout in the river, and walleye in the river or lake. Sounds like we're going to the river. Woo woo! It's river fishing time. Rainy Very, river fishing time. Very exciting. Peace. Good luck. How much bait do I have? I have 221 bait. <laughs> How did you do that without even having a worm bin? I just bought it. Okay. I, I, I exchanged the money with the man. Mm. I performed an act of capitalism. Yams are ready. All right, let's make fishing happen. Good fish luck. Wahoo! Tiger trout and walleye. Let's make it happen. Catch many of all of them. And then we'll have we make all kinds of progress towards our thing. Whoop! Slippery little guy. Whoa! Stuff.
Ah, so slippery. <laughs> Stop squirming. Accept your fate. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to stand here all day. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get out of this. You're just prolonging this. Catfish. Woo! Is that one of the ones we needed? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shoot, I forgot to ever give this cow hay. Good thing this was the first rainy day. This one's a little less slippery. And it's a tiger trout, wahoo. Ooh. Milk. Only needs a walleye. And I think we're good in terms of fish bundles. What am I even gonna do for the rest of the game? I don't know, man. You could farm. What's a farm? <laughs> Good news, I got a chub. Hooray! <laughs> you should turn that into a emote, into yeah. a, a sound effect. <laughs> people people can redeem bits for to hear you say, Hey, I got a chub. <laughs> chub ahoy. Gross. Alright, I'm gonna don't I'm gonna sell our first milk. Cause check it off the list. Ooh, so close. Because I need a large milk for the bundle. I'm gonna go see what the rules are for a big barn. I imagine the money is our limiting reagent here and not our resources. It's probably like 10 grand. Well, gonna, gonna get lots of fish muns here Woo. after today, so I think we'll be all right. Do, do you think everybody knows that you say muns instead of money? Because fish muns on its own <laughs> is kind of a strange phrase with, I, with no explanation. I, I frequently say, uh, you know, uh, I intend on saying, <laughs> or I mean to say, you know, get some money for my trouble. But I abbreviate that too. Get some mun for my trubs. <laughs> and I don't know if anyone... I'm not sure Blah. if anyone knows what I'm saying when Blah. I say that. Some trub muns. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, it's gonna cost 12 grand and quite a lot of wooden stones upgrade to Big Barn. So, that's our next goal. Good luck. 20 Yay. grand to finish the coop upgrade mm. to unlock rabbits. Oh... <sighs> could probably make a fish pond though and start to get money that way hmm. I've never actually done the math I like the fish pond because I can make it purple <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good for I mean sturgeon you make the caviar for out of sturgeon eggs and you, I think that's a fairly lucrative pr process but I always, I say always, the one time I played this game solo, <laughs> I, uh, I made a, a blobfish pond, and I don't know what all entailed it entailed, but whatever it was, it was 100% worth it. <laughs> I think really, there's only half a, there's only four, I think, that make it a different color. <laughs> Every, so the slime jack makes it green. There's two different colors of purple. One is the midnight midnight carp or midnight salmon. Void salmon. It's void salmon. There's something else that's a different kind of purple. And then there's a lava eel that turns it red. Mm. Everything else you just get vari variations on row, but the water stays the same color. And listen, I'm not here to not turn things purple that can be turned purple. Mm. That is my... I've been put on this earth to turn more things purple. <laughs> I am going to need to make a mayonnaise or a cheese maker. Let's see what the price is on that. 10 hardwood and one copper bar. I think I can make that. I haven't seen a, a walleye yet. I'm hoping it's just because it's a time of day thing. Yeah, I think a walleye is a, a night one. Ah. I mean, you have the flish, I suppose you could look, but... I, I can't peel my eyes away from the fishing screen <laughs> yes. at the moment. Well, not at the moment, but in between fish, presumably. Nope. There is no in-between <laughs> fish. There's no in-between fish. Well, I think I've solved why you don't know <laughs> when your walleye is. I've also solved why I'm still level zero farming. Yeah. Where are we putting weapons? Do we have an inside 
chest? Um. Oh, it's this one way up here. I think it's the Dave bucket that became the. Hey, hey, there's a walleye. There Wonderful. we go. Yep, it became two o'clock, and therefore walleye. Love it. It's walleye time. Do you want to meet me at the community center? And you can donate all this stuff. I'm I'm fishing. Oh, I'm still fishing. But you got everything you need for the community center, and what else is the point? <laughs> Many months for the That's upgrading the thank stuffs. Thank you. You're, you're helping. <laughs> oh, I have two swords. I definitely don't need two swords, which is the good one. Templar's Blade, level 5. City and Edge, level 6. Templar, you are out for the count. You can actually sell blades, sell stuff back to Marlin. You can sell weapons back. A uh, pleasing... A uh, coincidental side effect of uh, my fishing addiction is that uh, we get lots of money. Yay! Hey, did I plant corn? I must have planted corn, right? I do not know. <clears throat> did you did you like plant did. did you plant any salmon? This is corn. I think these are corn. I'm gonna run with these are corn for now. I did not plant salmon because salmon is not a plant. <laughs> salmon is in fact a fish. Man, for somebody who fishes all the time, you're bad at knowing what fish are. <laughs> they fish are everywhere. Fish are everything. Fish are eternal. Uh, we watched the new episode of Taskmaster last night, and one of the one of the tasks involved the contestants knowing what if if a whole bunch of certain animals were mammals or birds <laughs> or amphibians, and there were a lot of people who had no idea <laughs> what a lot of things were. Whether they were fish or, or amphibians or birds or mammals. Kiwis are, of course, mammals. <laughs> well, the one person said that's a fruit. <laughs> Apparently was not aware of a kiwi as an as a animal at all. <laughs> so that's a different kind of problem. Admit it, I'm glad they didn't say fish versus mammal because there's a lot of... I mean, isn't a dolphin technically a mammal? Uh, I think a platypus is. Well, yeah, man, I know that. Okay, it's also a fish, I think. <laughs> and platypus? A beaver. And a beaver. And a, I don't know. <laughs> it's some it's some weird amalgamation of every kind a, of animal. A platypus legs, lays eggs. A platypus is, is oh. the only mammal that lays eggs. Ah, uh, okay. That's what you're thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> not that, it's the only... Not that a platypus the, is, al is almost a little bit of a fish. <laughs> 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 it's the only <laughs> It's the only mammal that lays fish eggs, okay? <laughs> There's something weird about a platypus. It must be a fish. <laughs> it's basically just a beaver with a funny face. It doesn't turn it into a fish. <laughs> so, I mean, surely whales aren't mammals though, right? Cuz like You've never had whale milk? I don't know why I can get on board with a dolphin being a mammal and not a whale, but I have a significantly harder time with the idea of a, a whale being a mammal. You've never tickled a whale on its nipples before? Get out. <laughs> just just asking a question. Uh, oh, I haven't made a I should make a moss stump and start harvesting all kinds of mushrooms. We've only watched it once, so I don't know why I have this association, but whenever you say the word moss, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, Richard Iowati's character from IT Crowd. <laughs> well, that's his name, so yep. it's not that outrageous. But the show is only like 24 episodes long, and we've only watched it once, but yeah. for some reason just, it just permanently. Really sticks. <laughs> you know. Is it because, I mean, we've been watching Travel Man, watching a Richard Iowati show. No, it's been a problem this whole playthrough. Okay. <laughs> And I, I, I happily admit that it is, in fact, a problem. <laughs> the word moss has... Other meanings. Quite a few of them. You know what I want to get soon is a workbench. This pulling everything out of the box to build it is for the birds. Not a fan. Now it's walleye time. It's walleye o'clock here. But you got your walleye. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting more. It's like you don't just play for the community center. <laughs> hey, friend. I mean, we're not going to be streaming for too much longer. We're coming up close to the end of our day. Yeah, 20-ish minutes. 
I forgot to start my timer again, so I just go when Dave tells me to go. <laughs> I'm like one for three on whether I remember to do the thing. Because I'm a semi-professional streamer. <laughs> well, strictly speaking, the money I that one time made from Twitch, <laughs> I, I did deposit in our joint checking account. So Aww, that's I nice. think you are in some ways a, a professional streamer Ooh. as well. V exciting. <laughs> How was the P-A-R-K? How is the B-I-Z-Z-Y? Hope it was a chill day. There's also a kind of LASIK eye surgery that is referred to as P-R-K. So <laughs> when you're saying P-A-R-K, I might be thinking Korea or LASIK. <laughs> Couldn't just be Park, huh? It took busy to have some uh, Korean LASIK done. <laughs> That's just being silly. <laughs> what? Me? Silly? No, oh, Busy refused to leave. Did you just leave her there? Just, okay, you're on your own now. Learn to pay taxes. <laughs> Hoping that Maple and Shug sleep good tonight after playing with each other this afternoon. I'll try to play with them tonight, after dinner. Also, Kai, guess what? I'm fishing. <laughs> he finished the mines, he finished 120 levels of the mines, and just immediately, like, like 10 <laughs> seconds later, like, I guess I'm gonna keep fishing. <laughs> In his defense, it's the first rainy fall day we've had, so he had to do some fishing to get us our, our rainy fish, but he got his fish, his, his rain fish that he needed, and now he's just fishing. <laughs> Cause he likes to fish. I can't believe Dave's fishing. How out of character. Level zero in farming. <laughs> level zero. I'm not even level zero in fishing. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna put some walleyes in your fish box. Get out. At least you're not putting a chub in my fish box. <laughs> I could. Yeah. I got some chub for you. I know. Small carnivore pointed out that you got a chub. Oh yeah. Put a chub in my fish box. Oh no, your fish box is full. Oh no. It's stuffed. God. Brimming. I hate it. <laughs> Make it stop. Uh, Somebody I... ban him. <laughs> okay, there's room in the mining thing, so I'm gonna put the thing. We need the tiger that's... trout. Oh, that's fine. And we need the wall. Oh, I gotta figure go. out where you get the when you get the recipe for the extra big chest. Do I have a bad walleye? I don't think I have time to Okay, that's one thirty. Deposit some fish here. Yeah, fish box number two. I really, I gotta figure out where the large chest is, cause if I can get a large chest instead of a second. I'm just gonna pass one. out in the uh, the flamingo bear shrine. Okay, Schmapo. Hi, Schmapo. <laughs> I petted Schmapo and then passed out. <laughs> Cats will do that to you. <laughs> Dave didn't make it to bed. Oh no. Oh no. He's not gonna make it back. <laughs> On the plus side, I brought in 4K worth of fish. Hey, good job. Uh, you didn't donate, you didn't sell all the fish that we needed for the community center, did you? No, they are in the, the mining chest. Thank you, honey. <laughs> I was really scared there for a second. <laughs> like, we might sure only get right. one more day of rain this whole season. <laughs> <gasps> I made juice. I made eggplant juice. Yep, one walleye, one tiger trout. We get to complete some fish bundles. Woo! Some fum fumbles, fush fush fumbles. As Man, a, you really a, do enjoy a portmanteau. <laughs> is that does that qualify? Uh, <laughs> thank you for purchasing a co-op upgrade. It's not a co-op upgrade, <laughs> ding dong. But we bought it together. <sighs> a co-op coop. <laughs> a co-op coop upgrade. A coo oop. Uh, let's see. Oh, I also have some other. What kind of? I got some bream row, which is um here. Bring it up and put it in these two things. Unless you don't want to oh. get fishing XP. I was wondering what you meant by things. Farming XP. I didn't recognize that. Oh, I'll get XP for this. You'll get farming Fine. XP for this. Fine. I've tricked you, Baha. Can I put seaweed in something? 
<laughs> no. Can I put seaweed in your fish box? Oh God. Please don't. <laughs> oh, there's a dwarf scroll in your fish box. You don't need that. Um, scorpion carp. Mm. Okie doke. Ooh, deluxe bait. I'll take that off your hands. There you go. And... I'm gonna put the bamboo pole in uh, in the sword chest. That's fine, yeah. That's a good use of, of the chest organizational paradigm. I'd really like another apple. Come on, cave. Nothing. Hmm, I screwed up by not buying an apple tree to be ready by fall. This is gonna be... This is absolutely... Um, Although, uh, the greenhouse is, the greenhouse is not dependent. Oh, this is going to take forever. Why did you, oh, you're sighing it, Dave. You're not sighing at me? <laughs> Am I terrific organizational? On break, Dave and I were talking about if we were going to play this together and stream just until we completed the community center because, you know, his channel thrives when he picks up new games and we can't just play the same game forever and ever. But man, I'm doing such a crap job. It might be like way too long. Before. It might take us another Stardew year to finish the community center at the rate we're going. That's a whole lot of fishing I can oh, commit to, you know. Oh, man. Someone... I found some amethyst in a trash can. Nice. Who threw out an amethyst? Yeah. You got you got someone some some butt to kick. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody be throwing out amethyst on the, on your watch. I like how you get in more trouble for digging through the garbage than this person gets for throwing things out. <laughs> but also, I mean, that's the whole point behind the uh the whole cutscene with what's his face. Glow ring! Kai, what will make it go faster? Is you just helping? You helping us? <laughs> My problem is that I keep forgetting to plant enough crops to get the quality crops, and the quality crops is going to take a while now. I offended the mayor's sensibilities by picking through garbage in front of him. You shouldn't have done that. I'm going to do it again. Ugh. Watch me, Mayor Lewis. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Dave helping. <laughs> what if they go faster as <laughs> if Dave helped? I, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, they're I've, wrong. I've I've gotten to the, the bottom of the mines. He, and he I, did all the mines. I've literally fished he all of all the, fish the fish out of the out of all of the bodies of water. He is being helped. I have I have removed. You know you know what it is. It's, it's, it's that men don't help with the mental load. <laughs> <laughs> you know they'll do the tasks, but they won't think about the plan. That, I'm kidding. He's very real. IRL Dave is great at helping out the mental load. He <laughs> plans dinner and blah blah blah. But here in our weirdly <laughs> patriarchal <laughs> in our weirdly <laughs> patriarchal farm, <laughs> he's like, give me a task list of what I need to do. <laughs> Yeah, we're very hunter-gatherer <laughs> right now, for some reason. Maybe maybe I'll buy some quality fertilizer and, and put just a crap ton of corn in the ground. Corn takes a long time. When, yeah. we, uh, when we got engaged, we were trying to consider, like, when we were engaged, we'd already been living together for, you know, three or four, or more than that even. Well, really like, it's kind of it's several years. Yeah. Of it, like, when we officially started living together is a weird conversation. Yeah. But no, anyway. I don't have time for more. Um, right. Okay. And if you've already been living with someone for several years, when you get engaged, you sort of contemplate, okay, when we get married, what actually changes? Mm -hmm. And the answer is not a whole lot, except, uh, the man gets to do the taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the fact that you do the taxes is not just because you are the man. <laughs> you do the taxes because you are better at math. <laughs> I'm t I don't do the math myself. I just plug the numbers into a service I don't want to advertise because they're scumbags. Yeah. Also, admittedly, like, I can't handle a lot of the anxiety around doing the taxes, whereas you're, it's like, it's January 17th, I'm going to sit down and do, the, if I did my taxes by myself, I would, well, I would pay someone to do it, but also I would do that on, like, April 14th, <laughs> so. 
Yeah, I typically wait until the, say, you know, second or third week of February, just to be sure that, uh, I guess for the non-American audience, <laughs> there's a there's a law that anybody who is in possession of tax documents for people have to have them mailed by January 31st. So, typically middle of February, everybody should have all the tax documents they need to do their taxes. So, that's typically when I do them. Kai, I don't know why, but every time I look down and see, wait, y'all are married, I laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> They've never heard us talk about that before. Did we forget to tell people about that? I feel like we had a pretty sizable gathering. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just a birthday party. <laughs> Quite the expensive birthday party. Mm -hmm. I have some broccoli seeds. Ooh. Uh, I just planted all the stuff, but... Aw, oh, thanks, honey. I gave you a purple. Thank you, purple. <laughs> Enjoy the purple. Kai, when you were gone, we were talking small carnivore, and we were talking about how great the upgrade, the update is, where you all your jam and wine can be different colors, and how Concerned Ape must not... Um, Oh, I get it. It's a wife stream. Yes, that's how you know we're married. Um, that's supposed to say Wi-Fi stream. Oh, dang, dang it. Go fix it. <laughs> Who is this woman? <laughs> um, oh, I already have a glow ring on. Hooray! <sighs> Maple. Crap, what was I saying? Anybody listening? Small carnivore and us, we're talking about what? Uh, small updates to oh 1. yeah 6. how we need shelving we have to be able to we need, we need to be able to display our beautiful <laughs> purple jams and wines like i need i got a rainbow shelf come on give me a rainbow shelf <laughs> i want a rainbow shelf of wine and i want it now Ooh. now i also want this see doesn't it <clears throat> sound great i suppose it didn't occur to me that farming is how you get wine Ultimately. Yep. That uh, that changes things. I think I'm about, I'm about to become an avid farmer here. <laughs> In the pursuit of wine. Ew. I'm working on it. What level am I in farming? I am farming level six. I feel like I should be more than that. You should be able to put calendars and stuff over decals. I'm not sure I understand what we mean by decals there. randomizer you get randomly matched with another person to play co-op i really like the idea of it being like among us where you can just text i guess you can you can text chat in the game but no dis no voice chat you have to decide who's gonna fish and what your plan is without talking <laughs> semaphore only it'll be like playing with dave <laughs> bum, hey bum, bum, bum. i talk oh i see That's, like the cloud decals you have a palm tree decal on your wall uh. or vines i see I talk. It's mostly just stupid stuff I say, but I technically talk. Yeah. Did I talk to the animals today? One wonders. Credit where credit is due. Probably not. Pants is trying to sleep. Nothing I say is of value, but I still say it. Butts and pants are trying to sleep. <laughs> is, are, you, are you telling me to be quiet? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> just being weird. Time to go milk a sleeping cow. <laughs> That's a good joke, Kai. That's a good joke. Cracha is trying to sleep. Oh, we named our cow Cracha because they came from Marnie as Gracha, and Dave thought Cracha was a funny word. So <clears throat> it was spelled incorrectly, but I'm pretty sure Gracha is a Spanish or Mexican kind of cheese. Huh, so okay. it's actually it, uh, it entirely coincidental, but it is kind of almost in a way sort of a little bit thematically appropriate. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm awake right now. <laughs> you ran out of farming. What else are you supposed to do? Yep. Ooh, hang on. Um, I'm just walking around scraping moss off of wait. stuff with my teeth. I've put a tiny gift for you in the blue box. Go get it. Bait! Deluxe bait, even. Yeah. You are welcome. Primo bait. <laughs> Kai's not a fan of Cracha <laughs> as a name for a cow. I mean, Gracha wasn't like a lot better. <laughs> 
for the record. Um, you know what I'm going to be mad about is if you've managed to level up to level one farming just from putting two things into <laughs> a keg, into a jar jar. I didn't. Pity. Darn. We uh, traded in some glasses, some broken glasses for a whopping zero G. Why didn't you put them in the thingy? The thingy? The garbage, the recycling machine. Oh, I didn't know we had one of those. Oh, boy. Oh, utterly disgusting. Honestly, Kai, for a second, I was like, oh, no, I've offended Kai. Like, this is the thing that finally did it. And you're making an utter joke. I get it. <laughs> At least I hope that's what's happening. What if you really are offended? Oh my god, I can't handle it. I like how I'm learning to cook things and we don't have a kitchen and won't for what feels like a thousand years at this rate. All right, how do I grow a wine? <laughs> Utterly. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> the way you grow wine is you level up like nine fishing or farming levels. <laughs> <laughs> nine fishing levels. Got Here it. I go. I am ready. Ready to go. Watch me go. Um, there was a, we were, we were asking an hour and a half ago if I knew the recipe for something. What is this? What was it that we were? Oh, that's a great question. Read me what you can make. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That'll be the rest of the stream, everybody. Hey, but I mean. Here's me listing off, a, <laughs> naming a list of many things. Um, anything of interest. I can make a magnet. Ooh, can you make a lightning rod? Uh, I'm not that's gonna... something we don't have. Oh, dang. I am just now looking at the wedding ring. It requires five yeah. iridium bars and one prismatic shard. Yeah, that's a our marriage is a long way away. <laughs> our fake stardew marriage no, is a long quite. way away. I really like that I'm farming and I know Dave's working hard, but his NPC is just sort of staring off into space <laughs> here in the middle of the farm. <laughs> Makes me laugh. I can make a worm bin. There you go. Make a worm bin. Well, I mean, I I would need hardwood, gold, iron, and fiber. But we I can have make all it. of it. Oh, that's right. I can make fish smokers, too. Ooh, yeah. Make a fish smoker. Um, hardwood and one of every kind of jelly. Did that should be in the blue thing. Um, sea jelly. River jelly and bug meat. Oh, cave jelly. There you go. Was it cave jelly? Yeah. Oh. E river cave. Okay. Are those the? Are those the three? I'm confused. That was easy. Uh, yeah. Okay. And now I just need some hardwood. In the brown bin. Cause it comes from the earth. And I'm. Not seeing any hardwood. Uh oh, hang on. I'm holding it probably. Yeah, <laughs> go away. <laughs> go on, get. Get. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. I can only make one per my cave jelly, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I would maybe, like, right here might be good. It is a farming simulator. I guess it all does come from the earth. Where did you point my enemy? Anywhere over here. Uh, as long as it's accessible. <laughs> I mean, yes, you can put fish smoker in the back. Oh, an important note about the fish smoker that I didn't realize is that you do have to put a coal in there with um, mm. each fish. So I'm putting coal back in the black box. That's how they get you. Yeah. I didn't actually know that until I, I burned through like 80 pieces of coal without realizing it. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. Do we know if Stardew Valley is on Earth? I mean, technically not. In no way is it... I mean, there's no connection to... I mean, the wizard has a pretty big telescope. He can probably <laughs> give us some idea of where in the universe we are. That's a good idea. But no, I don't think it references any, like, real, real established locations. This isn't, you know, Stardew Valley outside of Portland. <laughs> I'm going to blow open all these magma geodes you found. Wahoo. Wahoo, indeed. I'm going to stare at the dirt until wine comes out. <laughs> That's not going to happen any <laughs> any quicker. 
technically the keg I have could be making wine. I think I accidentally had it make juice because I just had eggplants on me. Um, ugh, ugh, eggplant juice? I don't know. It, it sells. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not judging your <laughs> your making of it. I'm just judging that it exists at all and is desired by people. You can put pretty much anything in a keg and something will come out. <laughs> I mean, How about this cake? Pickled hazelnuts cake. don't sound very good. Do you want a, a, a pickled pink cake? That sounds... Good luck. I don't think it'll take it. <laughs> um... Oh, really? But uh, yeah, how 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 do I farm? What do I? What's, what's <laughs> oh, now you want to help farm? <laughs> Hang on. If it sell, smells, it sells. That's what Willie says. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, no, I regret that. There's not enough room for that. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna move someplace where there's enough room for me to write out what I want to spell here. Are you are you making the sign say something? Or are you hoeing? Oh, oh my I god, can't. are you hoeing words into the earth? I can't hoe here. Chat, it's... I can't see what he's doing. What is he doing? <laughs> Has Dave ever farmed? Literally, he put the two things into the kegs just now. Or into the jam jars, and that might be the first farming he's ever done. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. Here's some visual proof for those uh, skills. Farming level zero. Farming level zero. <laughs> Amazing. Foraging level three, though. Yeah. Combat and mining are still only level five, though. That's disappointing, considering I made it to the bottom of the thing. Hey, it took me until the end of winter in the Skull Caverns to get my mining up to level ten in mm. my game, so... It's not all that surprising. Um, uh, how I, do we grow a bus driver? <laughs> it's, you have to repair the bus. <laughs> I'm I'm trying. To, there's so many things <laughs> to do. Just just calm down. <laughs> Stop running around the farm. <laughs> Stop running around the yard. Okay. First of all, what do we need for this? Wood, stone, and coal. So I gotta. I'm gonna sell a whole bunch of these there's mineral. The, oh, we need a sandfish. Okay. Yeah, which we have to. Yeah, we we need to grow a bus driver before we can go to the go to the <laughs> sandfish pond. It is actually about fixing the bus. Pam <laughs> Pam exists. <laughs> Kai, I don't remember if you were here for the part where I told Dave that he had to start putting things in the right or in the right <laughs> chest, or I was going to get too stressed <laughs> to be on the internet. <laughs> but it, Dave is very much. He's like, well, now I'm interested in farming because there's wine at the end of it. So <laughs> how do we farm? Uh, the problem with farming is that you can kind of only do so much of it at a time. Hooray! Uh, I choose the wine bits. This is part of why I go to bed at 4 o'clock a lot, is because at a certain point, you kind of just have to wait for it to be tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> to, to farm more. Oop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pants. I Ooh, very nearly a... just said a very unfamily friendly word <laughs> specifically directed at you. <laughs> Get out of my way. Pants and butts both have five hearts apiece. Yeah. With you? Or just with me? Uh, it, it, I don't think it distinguishes. Oh, good. Because they don't know who you are. <laughs> Snoopy is back from the Artemis expedition in space. I'm assuming something is happening in the real world that we've managed oh, to just sort of okay. yeah. <laughs> I was like, forget oh, not not I, I was I was stuck on, on planet Stardew when I was trying to parse <laughs> nope. that sentence. Real world for a second. <laughs> yeah. Or is it Terraria? Oh yeah. Um, truly, Dave, I appreciate you wanting to help farm, <laughs> but, but, you know, I mean, in all seriousness, I'm a much higher level, so you should let me do more of the farming so that we level up and get the keg recipe and the seed recipe, the seed maker faster. If you get farming, we're just going to sit and wait for you to level up <laughs> for farming, and that's just going to make everything take longer. <laughs> um, that's uh, that's what we do here at the Good Dave channel. We spend m much more time doing <laughs> things than they should take. Yeah. Really what we need to do is is 
just kind of keep going through days and also earn as much money and upgrade the barn and the coop and and do that are you trying to what are you doing there we go. i'm just i'm just hiding behind you i'm nervous <laughs> this is, dave's losing the plot he's like well she won't let me farm and i'm done fishing and mining so i'm just gonna be weird there now we there i am i'm invisible you can't see me <laughs> and where'd dave go <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, I mean, should we just go to bed? Yeah, it is that time of that time of the stream that we have to say goodbye. It's too bad, so sad, but all good things must come to an end. And yes, I just got my shins scythed off by my wife. I it's was friendly fine. saying goodbye. <laughs> Into my legs. Um, if this is your first time here, this is very much what we do. We play, ooh, are these... I'll just uh, do that while you're talking. Our, these barrels just gave birth to purple goop. <laughs> um, this is very much what we do. We just have a nice, fun time with good games and hang out and relax. If that sounds like your your kind of bag, I recommend a like, a follow, a subscribe, etc. It's fast and free, and it'll keep you connected for our future chill shenanigans. Um, during the week. Um, I just started my first Earthbound playthrough. Oh, heck yeah. I'm supremely excited about that. I, and I mean supreme in the context of, like, there's onions and sour cream involved as well. It's lovely. Um, if you're already a fan of the channel, something you can do to help... Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, okay. I thought you were... I thought that was directed at me. He's still going? Oh, no. It's just more stuff is happening. Um, if you're already a fan, something you can do to help grow the channel is, uh, make some clips on Twitch or YouTube, or simply leave a comment on YouTube with, uh, some timestamps to your favorite moments. I'm gonna hide <laughs> behind my wife here. <laughs> and, uh, I can turn those timestamps into clips. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, total eclipse of the Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, and bring a lot of attention to the channel that way. Um, that will be all, though. Thank you very much for your companionship today, friends. It's, as always, greatly appreciated. Um, be back on Tuesday. I thought that too. That your your ponytails or your pigtails look like mutton chops. You've said that before about me, and I've ignored it with all kinds of grace. <laughs> but now chat's telling you too. <laughs> I know it can no longer be ignored. Um, oh, ah, uh, yes. I will be back. Uh, I'll be back anyway on Tuesday at one p.m. Chicago time with. Um, Earthbound, the first Earthbound playthrough, Wahoo. It's a good time. Love Small it. carnivore, we'd appreciate that so much. Spread mm. the word if you think you have friends who would enjoy the vibes. Yeah, sharing is caring. Um, and the two of us will be back next weekend, next Saturday, 1 p.m. Chicago time, for some more. Uh, I was going to say Earthbound. This isn't Earthbound. <laughs> this is a uh, Stardew. There's a hobo behind me. There we go. No, there isn't. You can't see any hobo behind you. Um, <laughs> But again, thank you for hanging out. I hope it was fun. And we'll see you again in the next one. Bye, everybody. Take care. <laughs>